How's it going, everyone? Welcome to Pan Geekery Podcast, a live weekly video podcast celebrating all things geek from an all diverse perspective. We are going to talk about film, TV, video games, and all the cool stuff covering all the nooks and crannies of fandom. How's it going, everyone? My name is Earl. I am an actor, improviser, and um, the uh, the first uh, my favorite book growing up was The Neverending Story by Michael End. Oh, yeah. that's so nice. Ending story. Oh. Um, hi, I'm Jen, Jennifer Zhang. I am an actor, writer, immersive theater enthusiast, and one of my favorite stories growing up was A Wrinkle in Time. Nice. Ooh. I'll introduce. Oh, uh, I was going to think about it. Okay. Hi, guys. My name is Caitlin Fay. I'm a writer, director, actor, and singer. And my favorite book growing up was... Uh, Ella Enchanted <laughs> by Gail Carson Levine. That was a no, good one. I loved Ella Enchanted. I thought you were going to say something really, really good. Like, like what? I don't know. It's something weird. No. Ella Enchanted <laughs> Ella like, is a perfect Like Legend of the Overfiend, <laughs> but like a book. You wish. <laughs> the Secret of Dragon That sounds Home. very accurate. Um, Midnight and, uh, Magic. <laughs> today we are joined by a special guest host, Mr. Samson Lancaster. Woo! Samson, would you like to introduce yourself? Well, I think you already introduced me. <laughs> I mean, uh, like, what yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I'm a writer, producer, podcaster. Uh, I run Strength in Gaming and a number of other Ooh. audio dramedies and whatnot, and and some voice acting. Nowhere nice. near the level that's in this room. Oh, but, I don't know. Um, I know. I am like a that. famous voice actor. So. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Hey, what's her name? Out. Caitlin. Caitlin. Fear. Flagellant. Flagellant. Fear. Flagellant. Flagellant. I didn't even say flagellant this time. Um, <laughs> well, Flatulate. Uh, thank, wow. Thanks, Samson, for being here. Uh, thanks for having yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're gonna have some fun yay. today. We're so happy you're here. Um, so, uh, hello, everybody in chat. What's up tonight, everyone? Woo! Um, so, everybody, hit us up in the chat. Uh, hashtag us Pan Geekery, and uh, we'll get to you as quick as we can. Also, we have another giveaway for tonight. Uh, today, we are giving away um, tickets to a special screening of the 20th anniversary of The Matrix. Yeah. Yes. Whoa! So Noise. jump in chat and say that. the words, I know Kung Fu. That's I know <laughs> K-N-O-W <laughs> and then Kung Fu. <laughs> to, to, martial to be clear, yeah. there's no whoa. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No whoa. whoa. You might get extra points for the whoa, but, yeah. but all you need is the Kung Fu part. I, I know Kung Fu. Uh, and we'll, we'll choose a winner to give uh, those tickets out to um, next week. So... Uh, if you were in chat last week, you know that we were doing a giveaway for um, a digital and or, no, a digital or, not and. <laughs> and or. <laughs> a digital or a, a, um, a Blu-ray copy of Avengers Endgame. The Blu-ray is dropping on the 13th, but um, yeah, we are going to figure out who won last week right now. Uh, as you can see on the TV behind us, we have a, uh, a very cool kind of... Um, Wheel of Fortune -eth wheel thing, but it's digital, a digital Wheel of Fortune wheel. <laughs> and uh, we're going to spin it to see who wins. Spin that wheel. Spin it that is wheel. spinning. There spin is no sound. Spin that wheel of fun. Spin <laughs> that wheel, wheel of fun. It goes round and round. Yeah. And our winner is Ma Brand. Ma Brand. Ma Brand. So Ma Brand, um, uh, if you <laughs> are in chat right now, or we'll, we'll find out. I guess we can find out who that is, actually, through Twitch. And um, you win a digital or Blu-ray copy of um, Avengers Endgame. Congratulations! Yeah. Congratulations! So everybody in chat right now, um, I know Kung Fu. That's your magic uh, phrase for today. All right. So we have an interesting show for today. Got a lot of stuff going on. First of all, we're going to talk about um, growing up geek, my so-called geek life. Uh, then we're going to have a little conversation with our friend here, um, Samson Lancaster. Uh, we're going to go over news from the geek universe after that. And finally, we're going to have a game. Yay! Yay. I'm going to fail horribly. <laughs> <laughs> nah, dude, it's it's going to be just setting it's the gonna bar be good. for later. Um, actually, gonna win we, we can talk about, that. like, what is, oh, well, can we talk about uh, what has everybody been up to this past week, or, yeah, what has everybody been up to this past week? 
So I got started on The Expanse. Nice. Yeah, yeah. finally did. And um, I'm on season one, episode seven. So funny thing happened. Mm -hmm. um, when I was watching it, uh, I think I was trying to pick up at like, I don't know, episode five or whatever. And we were clicking around. And of course, when you log into your PlayStation, it always goes to the more <coughs> recent season first. Right. So we started playing like <laughs> season three. three, episode five. And we were going like, <laughs> what what is happening? You're like, did we miss an episode? Wait, hold on, rewind. Watch the one before that. We turn on the one before that, and it's like, wait, no, we we've never even met this character. Uh -oh. <laughs> I realized it wasn't even season one, but yeah, uh, it's been a really nice trip so far. I can see a lot of references to Blade Runner. You know, the detective character is eating noodles at the bar constantly. There's a lot of references to like Firefly. There's people speaking in different languages. There's some Battlestar Galactica in there as well. You know, there's something for every sci-fi nerd out there the first season has some corny dialogue sometimes like i'm kind of cringing at the the pilot guy but Build it's all loader. okay i'm it's fun sasake 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 cool all cool. right what are y'all doing i'm excited well jen introduced me to fleabag today <laughs> after various attempts to get my ass to watch it when I don't have Amazon Prime. <laughs> um, so I watched the first two episodes and shit's hilarious. That's what I'm going to say. You should check it out. Shit's in a hilarious. British accent, she yes. says that. You can, only, yes. you can only talk about it in a British accent. Well, if you That's insist, the rule. I'll <laughs> try. Um, I, well, what, what I... Um, I wa started watching The Boys on Amazon Prime, and uh, oh, I saw. Yeah, yeah. how was it, it? It's pretty good. It's uh, I enjoyed it quite a lot. I I binged it I, like in two nights. Wow. So I mean, there's only ep eight episodes, but an hour each. Uh, I mean, yeah, an hour each. So episode. only four hours each night. Yeah, yeah, only four hours. Wait, what's it about? <laughs> so it's basically um, like what what would a Justice League be like in the real in real life in the real world? Like, oh, so it's superheroes. It's superheroes, okay. and it's it's about the business of superheroes. I will say, so um, right. Interesting. Uh, if if superheroes ex actually existed in in real in the real world, how would they operate? Gotcha. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I didn't know, but after I was watching the um, the second episode, I was like, why do I like this so much? And uh, the showrunner is actually Eric Kripke, who is uh, the guy who show ran the first five seasons of Supernatural. Oh, so, okay. Yeah. Oh, very cool. Yeah, yeah. Does it have so, some of that classic cheese? Yeah, yeah. Lots I heard there's like a reverse Great. Me Too subplot yeah. that gets brought up and then dropped and never fully addressed. The reverse what? Me Too yeah, subplot. Yeah, but... Um, uh, well, it... it I you don't know, know if it gets dropped. It gets. It, it, well, it's not very. It's not tied up very well or addressed very. I don't it know. It is, exactly. but it's. Uh, I th I think, in the context of why the, why it happens in the story, yeah. it makes a lot of sense. Okay, so, I haven't seen it, so right. Yeah, that's um, next on my list. Definitely. Yeah. Um, so I just wanted to give a shout out to uh, the chat, Kuya Paul Poetry, um, uh, Major Mantakia. Yeah. Lord, don't read anything he writes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's Sal. That's Sal. <laughs> oh, is it that's Sal. Sal. Oh. Strength and gaming. What's up? What's up? And uh, yeah, also um, the musical I am in, supportive white parents. Um, mm -hmm. We uh, got a, a a run at Second City, so we're going to be on every Friday at Second City um, from the end of August until December. So that's exciting. wow until December. Yeah, mm -hmm. and somebody here. Who? Do you want to say it? Who? <laughs> a Caitlin Faye. I wonder. Oh, me? Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so Caitlin uh, actually auditioned uh, for the uh, musical, and she's going to be the understo uh, understudy. 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 The understudy. The understudy. I believe you said she's understudy. Gonna be understudy. The understudy. The understudy. understudy. <laughs> for the joy character. For the the lead, you're saying? Yes, for the lead character. And how many thousands of women tried out for the same role? Like at least twelve. <laughs> Thousand? Oh my goodness! <laughs> twelve thousand. Oh my twelve thousand! <laughs> yeah, congrats! Just Thank yeah. you. I'm excited. Congratulations. Yeah. To be part of it. She so, uh, what have you been up to, Samson, this past week? Well, I've been working on my advanced band audio drama. Cool. I, I'm trying Woo. to finish the final uh, episode of season one, um, and it's coming along nicely. Oh, cool. For some uh, reason, I thought you you were, you had finished these. Work. Yeah, so did I. Um, no, <laughs> no, it, but it, I got you to get started. Yeah, in, yeah. I, I think it was. Um, I think I had finished nine, and then I was like, 
a good like writer's block and it mm-hmm. took forever. And then we were we had uh, Caitlin on our show, uh, Strength in Gaming, as a celebrity gamer. Um, and yeah, you were talking about writing and stuff, and I was like, yeah. I have to finish writing this, and Hell I did. Yeah. And now it's um, I've done the first scene. And um, other than that, I've been obsessively playing Monster Hunter World. Nice, so, oh. like a lot, <laughs> a lot of Monster Hunter. The new, uh, the new expansion, yeah. right? Well, no, the new expansion is not out yet. Oh, 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 oh. It, or if know. it is, I'm not there yet because right, right. mm-hmm. I'm, I'm still doing the the tutorial, which is known also known as the storyline. <laughs> Did you you said Monster Hunter? Monster Hunter, yeah. World, For some reason yeah. that reminded me of remember that nineties anime Monster Rancher? Yeah, Monster Rancher. <laughs> Monster which, Rancher. Which, which, which was this also an that. awesome game. <laughs> oh really? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Oh it was. makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Monster Although it was Rancher. Like Monster. Oh man. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, Digimon. Digimon. Pokemon. Yeah. <gasps> Digimon. <laughs> Digital monsters. <laughs> Anyways. Digimon. I'm glad Digital you got your monsters. shit together, Sam. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. If I hadn't <laughs> Crack the whip. Crack it. True. She Cracked did bring a whip to our show. I Crack wow. that Amazing. whip. Amazing. I have a couple whips, too. Anyway, <laughs> so Jen winks at me. What? Yeah. So do I. I. Any- oh! uh-huh. <laughs> you, need to, you need to crack the whip on me and make me write my short story sci-fi. <laughs> that I've been, yeah. yeah you know. I've been slacking on that, too. Everybody but blame her when you can't by finish it up something. Recently. I got you. Thank you. Cool, cool. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's been an interesting week for all of us. Um, but let's talk to Samson for a little, a little bit. So, a little Samson. Bit. What's up, man? <laughs> well, I've been playing Monster Hunter <laughs> since <laughs> for the last. Um, thanks for joining us <laughs> at the table. Thanks for asking. Yeah, it's been it's, uh, you're, it's cool to have yeah. you. <laughs> and stuff. Oh my god! Thank you, thank you for having Wait, me why on is the it show. So weird? I don't know. <laughs> Can uh, I there's ask some weird? tension. <laughs> there's some tension. <laughs> okay. No, 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 no. Right. Yeah. He no, didn't no, call no. me back. Uh, <laughs> No, I, I know. I'm, the I've old been ghosting ghost you ghost yes. ghosted. Who ghosted who? Who ghosted, ghosted yeah. whom? <laughs> anyway, so Samson, how did you start making strength in gaming? How, wow, that's a that's a good one. A long time ago, uh, me and Sal, or Sal and I, I guess is proper. Sal um, and me. Ah, oh, screw that guy. <laughs> um, no, seriously, we 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 just. I was like, you know, we should start a website to write um, about video games, mm-hmm. and we did that. And uh, a couple months later, I met a dude named Bubba. And <laughs> Bubba. Uh, Bubba had some crazy stories. Like, he would just tell crazy stories at, at parties and stuff about video games, mostly. And it was ridiculous. So I was like, hey, we, this stuff is comedy gold. We need to record this shit. Right. <laughs> so um, I said, let's, you know, let's do a podcast. And that was the very first episode, the pilot episode was uh, Sal, Bubba, and myself and it was absolutely horrible. Oh, um, oh and why? It was so bad. Like if you go, well, only if you go back and listen to it now, because we started with nothing. We started with uh, a Yeti mic, like a, a, an right. Omni oh. mic in the center of the table. You could hear everything: the cats meowing, the planes going over, <laughs> the dogs barking next door. All the good stuff. Uh, my yeah. wife using power tools in the garage. <laughs> you could, nice. You could hear everything. Um, and so, but you know, I, with a little bit of magic of editing, uh, it made it sound pretty decent. Um, but yeah, that was over six years ago. Holy was it really? Wow. Yeah. yeah. Jeez. Wow. Dude, so I mean, because so. I, I had started. Yeah, I'm a pro, bro. I don't, know. Don't yeah. mess In the world absolutely. of podcasting. <laughs> yeah, I, you're I, a granddaddy. Not, yeah. not not this. Yes, yes, Thank absolutely. I'm, <laughs> I'm old. Wait. I, so, oh, go uh, ahead. I, I had started um, a website at the same time. Agents of Guard. Right. So w- were we? Gosh. So that means we'd been around for about the same time as well. Yeah. 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 And I. I um. I invited you for burritos at Chronic. Yeah, Chronic chron- <laughs> tr- chron- t- Tacos at Bellaterra. I remember that. Yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So and and who, I, uh, I, I bought him a burrito yeah. uh, so I could discuss uh, collaborations with Agents of Guard. Right, right, right. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Was, so you already like, so tried you to hook up back. a connect like six years ago yep. with yeah. Earl. Yeah. And we're f- yeah. he's finally here. And, and wow. he, was, he was on, he was on uh, episode 50 of Strength in Gaming before we had Celebrity Gamer or anything like that. Right. Mm-hmm. It was just... Um, the voice of Jonah from Tomb Raider. So, Hell yeah. And, and Kat, know. our other host, she was fangirling. I had to put newspaper <laughs> down. Like she, <laughs> she, just, she was Wet fangirling floor. all over the place because, you know, what? Earl. Oh, wow. And, and she's a huge Tomb Raider I fan. I remember that. <laughs> I, I'm a huge Tomb Raider fan. Yeah, I'm still yeah. finishing up the shadow. Oh, I thought you were going to say you're still finishing up fangirling. Oh, <laughs> finishing, finishing yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah. Lots of newspaper you in my room. You had to finish well. right, right, before, <laughs> right before the show. Oh, Lord. <laughs> 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 Learning <laughs> lots of things tonight. Yeah. Did, someone, did, did someone 
someone turn the AC down? Can we turn it back up, please? No, <laughs> keep it hot. Wait, so what happened to this Bubba guy? The yeah. cat replaced him? Shrimp in business? Or yeah. Right? yeah. <laughs> shrimp, <laughs> shrimp stew, <laughs> shrimp gumbo, shrimp fried Good shrimp, one, grilled Jen. shrimp, fricassee shrimp. Shrimp and grits. <laughs> Lord. Um, well, Bubba went by the wayside. No. Anyone uh, named Bubba. He, he ends actually, up he actually uh, I think it was, gosh, around 100 episodes, he branched off. Or, or no, before that, he branched off and did his started his own podcast with his buddies, um, and then he started his own podcast after that, Talking Elf. Mm. Um, Elf like the alien. Elf? Yes. Wow. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. And uh, so yeah, he he left us. And I was like, but he was like our training wheels because he was like mm. at the time he was like the experienced guy that had been doing things you know in public and public speaking and stuff before uh, us and. Um, you know, he was like the training wheels. So then after that, we got going, and I found Kat at a chiropractor. She was the... the That's right. <laughs> That's you told right. me this story. Story. Not receptionist, but like like the office manager. Oh, got like it, got she it. Was, she was signing me in to, uh, t- for my first appointment at this chiropractor, and I saw that she had Link's bow on her forearm. Tattooed, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then after I was like, is that what I think it is? Then she showed me her lion heart on her calf nice. and, oh, and, she's, and the, whatever. The true mark it. of a nerd. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I was like, so I have a podcast you might be interested in. And it was 10 episodes in at that time, I think. And yeah, so uh, I just, uh, she was on and you she know, was on episode legit. 30. It was her first episode, yeah. That's wow. Cool. And she's really amazing, too. Kat's I love awesome. all of y'all. She's great. Kat, she's yeah. Kat's I, the funniest so one. I <laughs> really like her. Yeah. Wait, so you guys had four hosts at one point. Yes, okay. yes. So Kat, Kat was on for a few shows. She was kind of like guest hosting for a while. And um, and then, yeah, there, she became part of the rotation. And then eventually, like 50 episodes later, Bubba started to rotate out. Gosh. We also have we have like third string guys and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> like Eddie comes on every so often. Oh, oh, Eddie, yeah, Eddie, Eddie's Eddie's more of like second string. Like he's 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 a he's actually our um, creative director. Oh, cool. Um, so I guess I technically have a bit of a crew, not mm-hmm. not a lot, um, but uh, yeah, he's he does like all the artwork. He designed the posters, um, right? Stuff like that, and he's he's a nerd, and yeah. and he'll, he'll come on and talk with us. So very cool. Speaking of video game tattoos, how many do you have? Tattoos or video game tattoos? Video game oh, okay. tattoos. All right. So you called me out. Oh! <laughs> I haven't gotten any video game tattoos oh. yet. Oh, okay. It's I, hard. How many yeah. video game tattoos it's, do you have, Jen? It's hard <laughs> because, I, I mean, I have four tattoos already, and um, I didn't really, I really want the, the video game to be special, right? right? And it's hard because, like. Which I game do you be, pick? Yeah, which game do you pick? So, But, like, I think probably my first one will end up being Dark Souls related. Oh. So nice. Because so, w- w- uh, what are you gonna get and where? Um, it's and probably big? gonna. I'm probably gonna start with something small, like the um, the the red summoning symbol. Oh, mm. that's cool. On uh, your wrist? Yeah, probably like cool. maybe like like uh, because I'm an invader uh, by <laughs> trade. <laughs> I ruin people's days. That's what I do. That's my job. Noble in Dark profession. Souls. Yes. Uh, that's, that's that's general failure podcast says. Uh, a uh, cat is the only funny one. Yes, oh. that's true. Oh. That's true. Oh, Jen that Fail. No, that's not Sal. That's oh. Dom. That's, that's, <laughs> so either, mean. that's either Dom or CJ from uh, General Failure Podcast. Wow. And wow. let's just say it's named that for a reason. General <laughs> Failure. Oh. 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 Pew, pew. Shots fired. Shots also, uh, fired. Major Mantequilla says um, uh, Bobo abandoned us for pooping over 40. Yeah, yeah, okay. Pooping yes. over forty. That that there was a it was a show uh, called Off the Rails that I don't think is on anymore. But uh, we called it Pooping Over Forty because <laughs> every other show, you know, they're all over forty, obviously, and every other Ouch. show they uh, were talking about pooping. Nice. Wow. So, oh, yeah. Gotcha. That all became the nickname. It's pretty important. They pooping resented it, but uh, yeah. we kept at it. So that apparently, sense. general failure is uh, dumb. What's up, dumb? Yeah, dumb. Hey, dumb. What's good, dumb. What's up, dumb? What's good? What's How up? How are you generally failing today? <laughs> <laughs> well, no. he's Spicy. watching me, I guess. So. Oh, no. God. Not, not you no. guys. You guys are awesome. Say, this <laughs> is a <laughs> win I'm for the just day. Watching it up. this. Yeah, but I'm just here to ruin your show. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of video game tattoos, though, like one of the great ones that I've seen was uh, when I was dressed as Siri for Anime Expo, and this guy like taps me on the shoulder and goes like. <gasps> <laughs> like <and he> has, <laughs> his arm, and he he has all of the the signs. Oh wow! From Axie, oh. Art, oh. Igni, 
uh, in Quen from Witcher, the signs that the Witcher like cast actually has tattooed like magic on his powers. Yeah, and did then, you get and his then number? The, the witch, no. Oh, well, <laughs> I know, right? And then you like would, the, I'm sure. Yeah, I would have. <laughs> the, Hit the, it. <laughs> who is the Lich King's name again? Arthas. No, 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 no. The Lich King in Witcher. Oh, oh. I don't know the this Witcher. King. I was going to say, like, <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, you're right, uh, man. Arthas Menethil. That's, that's, Arthas that's wow. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Ask Sal. Sal knows. Anyway, so he had it at the top of the thing, and then he was like, "I bought a picture of Siri too." And wow, I was like, he must wow, have been wet shit. for you. Oh, God. God, no, but it was it was just Asian Siri. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh another wet boy's dream. Oh, no. <laughs> another wet boy's dream. <laughs> 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 Guys, I can't talk today. Hashtag yes. wet boys dream. Stop! What, is this, what does now. that mean? We what don't does know. that mean? I don't know. Uh, she should find out. Being oh. dry. <laughs> <laughs> wet boys dream. <laughs> I don't know why it's so funny. I'm moist right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm <cheating. laughs> Man, look at her. She's a whip boy's dream. Stop! <laughs> Man, Stop. I could dry off on her. Stop. <laughs> You're so slimy. Oh, boy. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, oh, dry no. off on that I one. I dry off on oh. that one. True love. <laughs> oh, my God. Anyway, sorry. Oh, God. Back to Samson, Wait, man so of the Samson hour. Did. Oh, I... I, I it's God. been awesome, like having like you having all of us on the podcast. Yeah, it was, it's, I've yeah. heard like it's time to if, if you go, if, if you go to Strength and Gaming, you'll get to hear dark, deep dark secrets of all of the hosts right. on the show, including oh, yeah. uh, Walter. Right, right, right. Yeah, right, right, Walter. Right. Deep dark secrets. Well, all of us have gone on the show, deep, and we've talked secrets. about yeah. a lot Some of things that had to be edited out. Podcast. Yes, <laughs> I think sure so. I have secrets. <clears throat> that thing about your no. <laughs> <laughs> hey, mom and dad. <laughs> well, Earl's particular line, right? You used it as part of your theme song. Oh, oh yeah, yes. what was that all about? That's amazing. You like so, walked in with your pants down or something? That wasn't the opening. Oh, you Wait, tell a story. Yeah, it's in the hear, opening now. Yeah. yeah, it's. I don't know what that was about. So, um, this was before, like maybe I think it was 2015 or 2014. I had gone to uh, Comic Con with uh, a bunch of our mutual friends, with Victor, uh, Victor Kamba, Justin Kizan, and uh, Nathan uh, yeah. at the time, Schultz. And I was staying that with them in a uh, hotel in La Mesa. So I, I didn't have a badge that year, but I was just chilling. Um, and <laughs> so a bum off the street walks into their <laughs> no, room. No. But um, so they one day they go off to con and I kind of stay at the room and do some work. And uh, I hear them coming in. I was like, oh, shit, they're back. So as soon as I, uh, I hear them, I like jump in front of the door and I pull down my pants. And <laughs> I'm just standing like back towards them like this. Oh, wait, as a joke, like as a like, joke. Wait, all your pants? Yes, yeah, like, all my jokes. including your underwear. Yes. Oh! <laughs> I didn't get that detail yeah! on the show. Oh, my all God. of your pants. So oh, pants he He's a wet boy. He needs a lot Stop. of pants. <laughs> His oh, pants were down. A wet boy's <laughs> dream is just a, a very a soft towel. No, uh, a soft towel. So, <laughs> hot towel. Um, a hot towel. As soon guys, as uh, I see them coming through the door, they walk in, and I see uh, Justin like they all. Well, they all kind of like stand like a deer in <laughs> headlights, and then Justin just collapses and then starts laughing. Oh, I thought, gonna oh I, thought, yeah. I thought you were gonna say masturbating. I thought you were gonna say like uh, the, the cleaning lady came in or something. Oh, that, that would have been, been better. Been so <laughs> funny, yeah. I I've watched that one. Oh. Mm, yeah. Yeah. I thought collapse is too. Yeah. It's my favorite. Oh, no, no. It's like my favorite tab. Yeah. <laughs> he just like doubles over and he's like, ah! and he has like this nosebleed. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, so they were all like dying. They were yeah, just yeah, laughing. Oh wow, that's great. But yeah, so Samson cut that portion about like, and then I they came in the door and I pulled down my pants. Yeah, yeah, just that's perfect. I don't even know. Perfect part of it. Yeah, yeah, that's great. <laughs> That's great. That's fantastic. And then we asked him to pull down his pants. Right. And so speaking of Why? pulling down pants, I heard you're in a, I don't know, a hentai or something like that. <laughs> oh. Is that true, Sam? What? You're in a yeah, hentai. So he showed me yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't you? Sa- I'm kidding. Oh, is this <laughs> no. the, uh, the Sims machinima? <laughs> yes. Nice. He's in a there Sims VO type what? thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Tell us about it. It's so I put my uh, voiceover demo reel out on YouTube. And I got an email from one, Matter Rose. She is writing and directing. It's called The Heiress. And it is a Sims 4 voiceover series or a machinima. Um, and for those of you who don't know what that is, uh, it's 
basically filmed inside of a video game engine. So it's like it's Sims characters and stuff. And I play Nikolai. He's a Nikolai. Nikolai. Was well, he a Russian? I tried the accent and it oh, was no. <laughs> they were like, no, no accent. No, um, <laughs> no. I just need to be dark and mysterious. He's right. a he's a well dressed man. He's the he's the uh, the the history teacher at the high school that oh. the heiress oh. attends. Sold already. Oh, like yeah. Nikolai Kostorwaldo. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh. And it's, um, yeah. it's a bit racy. Uh, I did not know <laughs> how racy. Racist. No, <laughs> he's Russian. Everyone's a little bit racist. Yeah, but, but it's, it's, it's really, it's really cool. Um, uh, yeah, the heiress on YouTube. I, uh, yeah, you're, you're, it's, you it's, what? Uh, you what? NSFW. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, so oh. it is. I, well, I, I, I actually haven't done any lines yet because I don't have any lines in the pilot episode, but the pilot episode is up. Oh, okay. Wow. So, My but, so, but you're going to be cool. in it. Oh, yeah. I'm so, in what is your I, character? I'm a co lead, uh, yeah, in, in the. In the it, show. I, 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 I went through it. It looks pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I, I, pretty I, I would good. watch it, honestly. Yeah, I, I, I found myself. Um, Intently watching it, it was in, it's intense. Intently <laughs> you watching, sit down it. and watch. Let's intense. watch this thing. It's called yes. the heiress. The heiress. Yeah, we can watch the pilot later. Wait, so oh. it's not a game? It's created in like it's a yeah, machinima. Yeah. it's a machinima yes. like like uh, yeah. what uh, Blue versus Red. Blue versus Red, uh, where, where basically oh. you, you just you tweak the game and make it so that you can make all the scenes of right. whatever it is you're. Have you seen doing? Blue yeah. versus Red? Oh, red there was a guy blue? that came up to me in blue, the con that was dressed as Blue versus Red. Master versus Chief. Red versus blue. So yes, exactly that guy. Uh, if you haven't seen it, it's basically it's uh, Machinima. Again, Machinima is it's it's a cartoon basically, oh. but it's uh, it's rendered using the in-game engine mm -hmm. for games. So yeah. it, it looked legit. Right. Yeah. Like yeah. Mm -hmm. it was a legit thing. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, congrats. <laughs> Thank you. Congrats. Yeah. congrats. But we shall okay, wait so for the plot to thicken. Oh man. Okay. So uh, first game of all time and favorite game of all time. First game, uh, jeez. Um, I'll go with my first PC game. Mm -hmm. uh, was Civilization. Nice. Whoa! Civ one? Civilization. The first Civ one. Civ one. Civ one. Damn, what platform was that? that? On? Okay. PC. I was. I mean, like Windows. Oh uh, yeah. DOS. A DOS. What empire? Like, DOS, DOS six point two. Like um, that old. I think I, I I would do like Spanish or oh. um, I think I did German once maybe. Nice. Like, like Spanish because. Half Spanish. <laughs> nice, nice. And then favorite, Dark Souls. Dark Souls. <laughs> yeah. Of Dark Which one Souls. Get that Dude, tat, that Dark Souls two. <laughs> yeah. Nice try. Really? No. <laughs> Dark Souls two. Um, no, uh, it's probably probably three. Oh, um, okay. But I like I like uh, bits of every everything. But three has some of the kind of brings everything together. I think. Hmm. Have you played Sekiro? No, I have not played Sekiro yet. Yeah. But I want to. Right. I was going to, and then Monster Hunter. <laughs> right. What is Sekido? Uh It's another one by fr uh, from, from Software. software. It's another. Yeah. It, it can be considered company, a Soulsborn yeah. game, I guess. Yeah. It just it doesn't have any multiplayer or anything like that. It's a single story. What is uh, that about? RPG. Um, oh lord, um, <laughs> I haven't played it, but you're you're like a, a samurai, um, right. lone wolf, like a Ronin, I, th I believe. Uh huh. I'm not exactly sure either. And I just know it's it, another it, from it, it looks game. really good. Yeah. And it it's, it's cool. super hard, like the right. Dark Souls games. And it's it's an uh -huh. action adventure. And it's very similar style to Dark Souls. Have you guys Hell all played yeah. Dark Souls? I have not. I have not. I was going <clears> to <throat> get it, actually. The I, I've never played it, but when I see like the billboards and stuff, mm -hmm. I get chills. I'm like, yeah. I really want to play it's that game. Dark. So I would look into it. You want to try know? either yeah. Dark Souls 3 or Bloodborne. Those are Wait, the which one's more Bloodborne? Complete games. Blood, Bloodborne is uh, another FromSoft game. It's much more Lovecraftian, much darker. Mm. It's like a prequel um, or something like that? Or? No, no, it's, it's in separate. a different timeline. Ah, it's okay, just gotcha. separate. Gotcha. Um, and it's a little more like a Victorian ish. Ooh. Like, uh, Bloodborne? H. HP Lovecraft. I love style. that Lovecraftian mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah, and yeah. and it and it's um it's faster. Like people tend to start with game. Don't start with Demon Souls. That's a bad idea. And really? don't start with like the first game because the first game, you know, it might be a little too hard or clunky. Um, but I, I started with Bloodborne, and that was probably my best. That was probably the best one because it's really. Bloodborne. Cool. I heard Ooh, it's an, like an easier right like yeah. it's less of a learning curve. Oh, if it's yeah. easy, yeah. even better. Dark Souls. <laughs> I wouldn't is call it easy. <laughs> Any of them easy. But, but Dark Blood Souls and Demon easier. Souls yeah. are. I want to see all of you play Dark Souls. Now. Some of the hardest <laughs> games. Let's of have all a, time. Let's um, have a Dark Souls party. General yeah. Failure podcast says uh, it's Samurai Dark Souls. Samurai Dark Souls. Is Samurai that Dark Souls. That's accurate. Yeah. Accurate. Accurate. Um, we have an, an, an anon in the room, and oh. they Ooh. say, um, 
Hashtag, I'm not sure what's going on, but I'm just here to see Sam's nipples. Wow. Well, well now yeah, that you yeah, say yeah. that. You have a, an admirer. Yeah. yeah. Retro Gamer. Oh, okay, White yes. Um, so. Oh, yeah, well, you can see. You can yeah, see. Retro I Games thought you were going to show your nipple. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought you were going to flash the cam. <laughs> yeah. uh, well, we're going to move on to our next uh, I haven't section been drinking. Here, <laughs> my so-called geeky life. Woo! Um, uh, so we're just going to talk about uh, growing up a geek and how that has kind of affected us and stuff. Jen, yeah. I know you had like a, a kind of a direction sure. to take this into. Uh, yeah. Okay. So let's talk about our geek childhoods. You well, know? I don't know about you guys, but I was the most popular girl at school the entire time. She's I can lying. see that. So I <laughs> Me too. Acting. <laughs> lying. So maybe you guys can talk about being nerds <laughs> and I'll just listen. Okay. Sure. Yeah. I was very uh, good you can at also Why did you hire her? The room while I we're actually <laughs> each other. I'm going to um, go out play Dark Souls. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. myself. utterly untrue. Me and Caitlin are best friends because we also bond over the childhoods that we've had. The childhood we were both outcasts, yeah. okay? <laughs> like but anyway, so um, I guess like I, I went into gaming primarily because um, I had these family friends. They All the kids would group together, right, for like Christmas and whatever. All the adults would be fraternizing and then we'd just be like sitting in yeah. the main room and all the boys who were older would be playing Super Smash Brothers, Mario Party. Smash. Wait, are you, you talking about this like Smash. family get-togethers or something like Not that? Not family, but family. Family friends, like family getting together okay. for holidays every Gatherings. now and then. Okay. So I was only about like, I don't know, very little. And I would see these boys like play the games. And then there was this one girl who's my age, you know, and she had this one older brother. And because like her brother was you know, really deep into gaming. I kind of had a crush on him. <laughs> Me too. She, like, was Same boy? No, no I know no. you're talking about like that boy? friend, your geek friend who's had an older brother and you have a crush on him growing yeah, up. Yeah, 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 yeah. But like, uh, yeah, so the girl would like cream all the other guys and I'd be like, damn, she's like really killing it. You know what I mean? Like I, shut the fuck up, Earl. No, Everybody I had, looked I had away. A burp. I had a burp. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. Is she okay. creamed all the other guys. Okay. She all right. creamed all the other guys. No, you but guys looked away. All the wet boys. All the wet boys. All the wet boys. All the wet boys were creamed. <laughs> she creamed all the other guys. Okay, go ahead. Anyway, so, you know, like she would play as Yoshi and like Kirby. I bet Yoshi's she did. my jam. I bet Yoshi's yeah. my jam. No, but it, you know, it just set in me this whole like, oh, it's not just a boy's thing. Mm -hmm. Like I can yeah. do this too, you know. And I like grew very admiring of that. And it it turns out that same family friend, the um, the mother of the family friend, um, one of my younger playmates, she went like, "What do you want for your birthday? Like for my ninth birthday?" Right. And I said like. Well, I really want a Game Boy, but I don't know. Like, my parents probably won't buy it for me. I literally <laughs> just threw it out there. She mm -hmm. has a lot of money, so <laughs> why she, not? Lo yeah. and behold, she bought me a Game Boy. Wow, a Game Boy nice. color Jeez. with Pokemon Gold. My friends wow. would just give me Indian thing. burns. <laughs> <laughs> I remember those. Nice. Um, what's sad is that the girl Jessica passed away before <gasps> her seventeenth birthday. No way. Yeah, what? she was killed in a car accident. Oh my! This goodness. is the worst story ever, Jen. <laughs> You have to say that. That's yeah. really sad. But I mean, like, I'm I'll, a fucking cry I'll now. <laughs> no, that's yeah. creamed all the guys. Yeah. Such a badass. Yeah. I, know, I bet you went down like a badass. And, then, and now I'm gonna cry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. <laughs> yeah, no. take on her her Basically, familiar spirit. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, like she left an indelible impression on me. Yeah, yeah, so, cool. yeah, yeah. You should write her into a story one day. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, there you go. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Wow. So that was your introduction. That was my intro into. Right. Gaming, yeah. Wow. And geek them in general. Perhaps. Or were were yeah. you a geek before that, would you say? Um what does it mean to be a geek? To like, geek to is to like find a geek franchise. To geek or not and to, to geek. also follow Tis that fandom, right? So it has to be some kind of franchise that you're invested in. Is that what it is? Sure, or? I think so. I think it's become that definitely. Yeah. I think yeah. it was different a little bit. I mean, because I, I, I it used to be niche participation. Very, yeah, yeah. That's what I mean. Yeah. But mm. nowadays it doesn't have to be niche. Now it's mainstream, but oh. it's like categorized, you know? Uh, but I feel like anyone yeah. could be a geek because it's mainstream. Of course. Yeah. Anybody right. could be a geek about something. I'm far yeah. too snooty <laughs> to admit to that. Yeah. But geek also applies to specific cultures like yeah. sci-fi, fantasy, okay. you know, yeah. uh, Lovecraftian, okay. that kind of right. thing. Or, yeah, I mean, the thing is, the thing, the, those things that were formerly niche are now, you yeah. know, in right. the mainstream. Mm -hmm. right. Um, right. True. Right. So. So anyway, are you, Earl? Uh, I don't know. Um, How'd you start off? Let's see. 
I do want to say beforehand that like mm-hmm. I, I think before because uh, I'm I'm God I'm I'm so old. Oh, God. But, <laughs> oh my God! I know. I think I'm but, older than you though. I don't think so. Mm. Let's oh hear. Let's yeah, hear. How old are you? Thirty six. I'm I am older than you. <laughs> oh wow! Okay. I am older. Um, but you're like, playing my dad. I th- dad. yeah I am. This uh, is so weird. Or else my dad. <laughs> I think that. Um, we were talking about you know uh, being a geek was something that was niche, and I do think that before there was a, there's very much a social stigma, you know. Oh yeah, back absolutely, in the day. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we where, nerds got the, made fun of. Yeah, mm-hmm. it doesn't exist anymore. I At was least called not four the eyes. Same level. Yeah, you're and, right. And other things. Yep. And uh, you had to do things like hide your fandoms back in the day. Yeah. Oh yeah. And, yes. Um, Man. That's not so much the case these days. I mean, I w- I remember in in high school um, during the tr- nutrition and stuff, we would play Magic the Gathering. Nutrition. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Or During whatever nutrition. Wow. I don't fuck whatever that class yeah, was. Fuck that Magic class. the Gathering. Uh, not nutrition. What is that called? I knew they I loved called you for a reason. At our, at our school, but it was health like, health class. Like break or the fifteen minute break. But you didn't call it nutrition. You mean lunch time? No, no, no. I didn't have breaks. We had lunch time. He's an alien. They called it nutrition. Nutrition. You nutrition class. He's an alien. No, no, no. It was it was a. Yeah, that sounds break. like life on a spaceship. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is that nutrition, the thing? nutrition hour. It's a Long Beach thing. Right? It's, it's a Long Beach thing. <laughs> it's a Long Beach thing. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't bang now. We yeah. didn't. We didn't have nutrition. Children, my friend. it's time for, for the nutrition. nutrition. <laughs> it's like merienda in Filipino. Oh culture, my, like your siesta hour. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, yeah. It's a, it's a 15 minute break in between periods, like. I can't Three believe and it. Four or something Why don't they like just that. call it a break? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. They, they called it, it's called, they called it nutrition. It's a magic the gathering. Because it was nutritious. <laughs> <laughs> Caitlin, <laughs> Long Beach. Good for you, damn it. So, uh, Long Beach is in- weird. instead of uh, <laughs> you know, staying outside and hanging out with my friends sometimes, I would hang around, hang out with my um my different group of friends. And that's why different. you're not in a gang. Good different. for you, right. Earl. Yeah. And, uh, we Good would choices. play Magic the Gathering in yeah. the uh, bio teachers. You couldn't even afford drugs if you were playing Magic the Gathering. No, because Magic Gathering Expensive is your cards. anti-drug. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. At two bucks per like expansion pack or whatever it, keeps it was. You out of drugs. That oh, was yeah. the cheap one. And that was the cheap one, exactly. <laughs> so, wow. Yeah. And you had to, you yeah. didn't buy just one expansion pack at a time. No. You know? yeah. Oh my god. There goodness. are cards that are worth like hundreds of thousands of dollars now, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The oh black lotus god. is black worth lotus. uh if, if it's an uh, original beta mint, it's, it's like worth over thirty. Thirty now? Over is thirty it? grand. I saw one on I'm part of a um uh God. I'm far of, yeah. part of a, fart. Uh, I'm fart. <laughs> I'm part of a fa- face. Fart, fart of a Facebook group. Fart, I'm, fart. I'm part of a Facebook group group called uh, <laughs> group. Uh, High End Magic Cards. Way to sell that one. Yeah. So, like you fart in that Facebook group. I fart, I fart on it. You fart in a Facebook I group. St- I st- with your pants down. <laughs> I take a, a webcam, stick it right with there on my butt, and just yeah. with, with all the with all the wet oh boys, Everyone with all the wet boys. <laughs> But uh, I'm part of a um, a Facebook group called High End Magic Cards. <laughs> High End Magic Cards. Yeah. You're a fucking nerd, dude. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Bruh. They sell. Oh, if, we, the, yeah. if we had a nerd contest, I, I could beat Earl. You, oh, you could out nerd. I could out nerd Earl. But wow. that, I mean, Magic of the Gathering, of course, we'll, we'll, is not we'll my first. Um, yeah. Was not my D&D. first um, th- fandom. It, it was sci-fi fantasy, of course. My first fandom, and that was that started with yeah, Dragonlance, of course. <laughs> nice. I'm gonna know everything about Dragonlance oh, by the time we're done with this podcast. You are. Yeah. I'm the <laughs> number one deep. evangelist of yeah. Dragon, Dragonlance. Dragonlance. <laughs> Dragonlance. 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 Yeah. Uh, but I mean, I literally went into a bookstore and was like, um, I, I want to read about dragons because I, I watched Conan you went the up, Barbarian. You literally went up to the clerk and was like, I want to read about no, dragons. No, I didn't talk to people back then. Okay. Yeah, no. And, uh, <laughs> I wouldn't think me so. Me either. I was yeah. really quiet. I, me too. I was kind of yeah. shy. Yeah. <laughs> I still won't talk to people if I, I don't have to. I'm like, where is it? I, I will, <laughs> yeah, I will exactly. walk around the library for like three hours looking for Are a book. Are you serious? If, That's I, what if like I can avoid. The digital like, catalog is for. Well, I, I mean like back in the day when it was like Dewey Decimal System. Oh. <laughs> I would walk around, but like, um, yeah, Dragon Once Lance was my first thing, so that led to I, I guess before that was Conan the Barbarian. Conan the Barbarian had a uh, a live stunt show at Universal, which had a dragon. In oh it. yeah, wow. yes, remember that? yes, yes, I remember that. 
Dude, fire. that was one of the best shows at, at Universal Studios. <gasps> Wait, yep. when did they have that? That was up until like 1989 or something like mm-hmm. that. Oh, okay. I was, was going to say, that's why. why. Yeah, <laughs> yeah say, y'all when were born. I don't remember that, yeah. And then... Uh, <laughs> like, I would have known <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, same. I was like, I would have known. I don't remember that. So no. Conan the Barbarian... Dragonlance, and that led me into like everything else sci fi. Okay. Open the fantasy. portal. Yes, it is what's exactly. best in life. Yeah. Right, it is what's best in Taking life. Taking that red pill. Um, gotcha. Yeah. Crushing your enemies, see them driven before you, and hearing the lamentation of the women. Yes. So, Holy yeah. shit. <laughs> That's what's best in life. That is oh what's my best God. in It's definitely That's not so like. biblical. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's it dark. It's not, the, some it's not the wind in hair or the falcons at your breast. Not at all. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> anyway. All right. He's starting, he's starting the nerd off. All right. Oh, come back. Wait, wait, what? Equally nerdy. What? Samson, <laughs> you go now. What am I, what am I doing? Oh. So how did you, how did you get started? Off. Yeah. What was your first fandom? Oh, man. That was a long time ago. My dad raised me as a Trekkie. Nice. Oh. Through and through. I don't care that people tried to call us Trekkers now. We're fucking Trekkies. I prefer Trekkie. Yeah, I prefer Trekkie. Trekkie. I think it's a generational thing. I'm, yeah. I'm not sure. I guess maybe Trekkie was used like nerd. Derogatory. Derogatorily. Derogatory yeah. uh, is that a word? I don't Derogatorily, know. Derogatorily, uh, yes. But uh, it, the same thing with nerd. I took the, the I love the word nerd now. I love mm-hmm. being right. I'm a proud nerd. Same thing goes for geek. Mm-hmm. And um, but yeah, being raised as a Trekkie, uh, my absolute uh, favorite um, was uh, Next Gen, uh, Star Trek hell Next Generation. Yes, oh. I'm are you Picard. excited for Picard, dude? Oh hell yeah! Picard. Okay, so uh, literally before the show, I was like, oh, I'm gonna say that I'm a, tr- I'm a Trekkie because I am, and, and and then I was like, oh. Fuck, I didn't watch the Picard trailer yet. So oh, you have I have to watch it. No, I did. I Even watched it. I, watched watched it. Oh, I absolutely okay. watched it. I got we, I got oh. moist. Uh, I, yeah. We know the girl who plays uh you know the girl who plays the the new girl. That's that's a degree away from Picard, man. Yeah, Yeah. I know. Uh Basically, two two for me, I guess, because I know you guys. (laughs) Right, right. I I don't know her personally, but I auditioned alongside her for an East West Pleasure. You know her personally? Are you friends with her? I'm not friends with her, but you you met her. I've seen her. What about Kevin Bacon though? Kevin Bacon though. Yeah. You've been really honest. Yeah. Yeah. So we're at oh our our bacon number is at three for her. Bacon number. Bacon number. Yeah. The bacon number. Uh, if you, if you, I don't know if it's still up, but like on IMDb, if you look at, um, IMDb pro, you can check what your bacon number is. But I didn't wow. know if there was a bacon <gasps> number. We got to do this. Holy as soon as shit. The show, yeah. As soon as it's over, right. find your bacon number. Yeah. Well, what does that mean? So the belief well, is that jumps? everyone in the world is six degrees away from Kevin Bacon. Oh, wait, oh. everyone in the world or everyone in Hollywood? Was it six or I, seven? Uh, it's six degrees. It's from six degrees. degrees. I, I think, think everyone in Hollywood is at meme, the most yeah. six degrees away from Kevin Bacon because Kevin Bacon's in everything. Oh, yeah. my God. So yeah. He's like, God, he's everywhere. So my wow. bacon number was three. Well, here's the thing, though. Like, it doesn't know my personal relationships with friends. Right. It's so, just going according okay. to your IMDb profile. Yeah. Because oh, are your friends I, Kevin Bacon? I think my Kevin my my, my bacon number is uh, better, <laughs> higher, lower than it would be on IMDb. Ah, right. But right. I, I have I didn't know that was there, so I have to find, I have to look at it. You should oh check it out. Wait, it's on IMDb. It, and like I'm if sure you look a, on, as on as IMDb gag? Pro. Yeah. Pro. Oh, really? Well, no. we have Pro. Let's check yeah, it out later. I have Pro as well. <clears throat> Better oh have pro. Yeah, I think it's something. Yeah. I, I don't it's know. It's gonna be something like one, and I'll be like, oh, I, what? I met him. I, I forgot. Just, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but <laughs> they've changed like the interface 17. in the last couple of years, so it, it, it might, might not, be there. not be there anymore. Oh, okay. I don't know. I haven't checked in a while. Hmm. But. Yeah. You just ruined it. Right. Sorry, I'm so sorry. I'm so excited. I'm sure there's so a moist. website that's an alternative that All probably. Right. Uh, that's it, everybody. I'll see you guys. I know. But well, tell us some more about being a trekker. A oh, trekkie. a trekkie. trekkie. Sorry, you know. trekkie. How dare uh, you? No, I, 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 I love. We just talked about this. <laughs> we just talked about this. Yeah. God damn it. I'm so. My dad. My dad was trekker. a huge uh, Star Trek nerd, and right. um, I, I was a, a grew up. My formative years were Star Trek Next Gen. Nice. And so I, I, I loved Captain Picard, and and um, I, I wanted to be his number one. Yeah, Ooh. his freaks. Of course, his yeah. Freaks. yeah, his freaks. Yeah, I, I like I like to uh, um, Riker chairs. It's it's fun. I, I was going to say, yeah. do you Riker chairs? I can Riker chairs. Yeah, nice. sometimes uh, these are a little high. I don't know. These are very high yeah. to Riker. <laughs> that, that, that would be dangerous. I don't want to get caught up in some lighting or something. You guys How know what Rikering a chair is? I have no clue. How do you I just Riker not as so like I knew we were everybody about. to be confused. If you watch, whenever Jonathan Frakes gets gets in a chair. In, uh, in his who? leg, Jonathan Frakes. John, uh, he he plays um, number one. Um, Commander number Riker. one. Yeah. Is Whatever. it to do with horns? <laughs> There's nobody in horn- no, with yeah, horns. No, yeah, there's a guy with stuff on his forehead. 
Oh no! no, no. Oh, it's a, it's a, it's a brow ridge. Oh, I thought it was horn. Darth Maul. Um, that's a uh, uh, Darth Maul. No, Mall? no, not not like Dwarf? that. Yeah. He's a Klingon. Oh shit! They're, they're, those aren't. Sorry. Uh, Sorry. Sit down. Sorry. Sit down. I they're didn't really watch. I they're watched the movies ridges. and that was it. Yeah. So whenever uh, gonna Commander try, Riker, I'm going to try this. I'm going to probably hurt myself. Um, sits well, in a rather chair. You hurt yourself than me because he doesn't. I'm he doesn't sit down like this. He doesn't go around and sit. He puts his leg over. Oh, like a, like a yeah. fucking cowboy. Yeah. Yeah. It sound like that. Record it. Yeah. But Every does time. he need Every to time. do that or he just wants to look sexy? He's uh, tall enough where it doesn't look He's like 6'4", so yeah. it doesn't look weird, but uh, you don't notice it until you really pay attention. And and really the reason is because he had a bad lower back. Oh, which, I didn't know that. Yeah. And it's, 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 when you're doing a million takes, and right. sitting down, it's hard on your back. So he just kept it straight and boom. Just nice. Instead of bending. I, yeah, I, instead I of bending. like doing that at times, you know? Just it's like commanding yeah. a room. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There you go. Com- there's commanding there's, chair. there's actually a uh, supercut on YouTube. Yeah, of, I'm sure. Of, uh, yes. All, uh, yes. all the times he. I gotta see this. Yeah. I gotta see this afterwards. <gasps> but That's yeah, great. I mean, I and then you know I moved on to uh, Voyager and mm. all that stuff. I love. I definitely I love Star Trek. Do you Ooh. have a favorite episode of um, TNG? <clears throat> oh man, uh, maybe. Uh, Darmok and Jalad at Tanagra. That's a great one. <laughs> yeah, I love that one. That's a good. It's one. a good one. I like what that happens one. to that one? Uh, well, it, Captain yeah. Picard gets like stranded on a planet with um, the captain of this other ship. I forget the name of the aliens, but they only speak in like phrases from history. Right. So like wow. Darmok and Jalad at Tanagra. Um, refers to refers, something. I think right. in the, this case it referred to like a like a treaty or mm-hmm. like a. Um, some oh. sort of agreement, huh. but of course Picard has no idea what they're talking about, and they can't translate it properly with their, you know, internet, uh, interstellar translators. What do you want to call it? Because of the way it's spoken and stuff, and it's right. a, like a new alien race that they met, and it was a, it was a really good because they have to like tough it out and survive on this planet together. Um, it's like really Mrs. Who episode. from A Wrinkle in Time. I was going to I knew, say. I was like, she's got to think of Mrs. Who. I yeah. already thought of that. But yeah. I, yeah, I wanted yeah, to that's hear really, the end of That's it. awesome. Yeah, because Mrs. Who in A Wrinkle in Time by right. Madeline Langle also speaks in just quotes said by other like people. In history, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Like, I could be like uh, Earl when the pants fell. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, oh, when the pants fell. But so Mrs. Who would say, when the pants <laughs> fell, Earl. That's how Mrs. Yeah. Mrs. Yeah. Who would say right. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's so cool. When I was on Pan Geekery. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Caitlin. Cool. Okay, so um, I guess you could say my nerd journey. Yeah, nerd journey. My oh, no. nerd journey. British accent. Nerd-y. My nerd journey. St- I've got an old and elder brother. So um, who it's so funny because back then he was such a freaking nerd and now I'm the geek and he's a total normie. Um, <laughs> no, he, he just dropped the you ball. Normie, he, so. He's a total normie, normie now. Um, normie. But back in the day growing up, I saw my brother as this big geek. He had glasses. He was really nerdy. didn't have any friends. He stayed in all day and played video games. And of course, he would get me to Vigi join games. in with him. Video games, yes. It's all very normal. Um, so he had an original <laughs> Nintendo, right. Sega Aww. Genesis. Um, I remember when we got this N64, it was the biggest freaking deal. Yes. Um, so we used that to play all the these. That was the best Nintendo systems of all time. Yeah. Like, I remember our, the first game we would play was um, on the original Nintendo. There, it was like ducks, and you would shoot ducks. Oh, duck hunt. Hunting. God, okay, duck yeah. hunting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or duck hunt. Du- duck hunt. Huh? Fuck that dog. Super, was that a Super Fuck Nintendo? Or? Dog. Oh, okay. Fuck that dog. It was one of the Nintendos. Um, we play Sonic the Hedgehog, all that stuff. And he read a lot Sega, of books, and he got me into reading books. Because mm-hmm. I, I, I looked up to my older brother, and I saw him as very intelligent. And I right. felt like if I want to be a worthy individual <laughs> in this planet, then I should also be intelligent. I should I read books, too. I also read. Yeah. <laughs> I remember he would read chapter books. Like, oh, my God, he's reading chapter, chapter books. books. Not like, even pictures. There's not even books. pictures. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, you know, I go to the library. I try to, Or sometimes I'd borrow his books, and I'd read them, too. And I think... The first kind of fandom type thing I really got into hardcore was anime. Mm. And um, uh, my my first crush Mm. wasn't even a real person. It was this character Mm. from this show, which in Japan was called like uh, Techman Blade, but on UPN it was like Technoman. (laughs) (laughs) So I had a crush on this guy, the lead character named, uh, well his name was supposed to be Blade, but they changed it to Slade, which I think is much sexier. Slade. His name was Slade. Yeah, I know. (laughs) (laughs) Oh my God. He he was just the the perfect kind of guy for me. He had black (laughs) hair. 
he had hair in his face like this, long tendrils, and he was like really, really emo and like dark and like, <laughs> and his name was Slate, and he was really <laughs> angsty. And like oh, my five year old fucking hormones just like went off the roof with him. I remember watching this show one day, and he was, Slade was playing a tennis match against like Ringo and this blonde dude. And I remember thinking like, oh, I feel weird. Like, what's this weird feeling I feel? And then I thought, I think I have a crush on Slade. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, is this So this was happened? before Aragorn? Huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Right Aragorn was okay. a real person. Like, Viggo Mortensen's <laughs> right, a real right, person. Right. This guy was yeah. an anime character. And I was like, I remember feeling like hot and heavy for Slade. <laughs> right. But oh I was like God. five. I was like in kindergarten. Right. And I was like, I think this is what having a crush feels like. And from then on, I graduated to Sailor Moon. Yeah. I used to wake up at like 7.30 in the morning to like record Sailor Moon. Mm -hmm. And um, I we had this club at my school. We called it the Sailor Moon Afternoon Club. Nice. And we would meet uh, during recess on the playground in the log house. And I during was the vice president. Yeah. Right. And <laughs> each of us, yeah, each of us had like a Sailor Scout that we represented. Mm -hmm. And I was Sailor Moon Aww, because I loved Sailor The president you. was Sailor Mars. Everybody would fight over Sailor Mars, but Really? Did you yeah. Sailor Moon? No, I, I know, right? She was the best. So I, I got Sailor Moon, and uh, one guy life. I had a crush on, uh, Justin Wen, I still remember, he was Tuxedo Mask. And um, we would have meetings yeah. every recess. I had a crush on Tuxedo Mask. Yeah. <laughs> Darian, oh, yeah. right? And we would Darian. talk about Sailor, like the last episode of Sailor Moon. So we're like second grade by now. And you know we were talk we were serious like we were talking about second getting T-shirts for ourselves. I feel old now. Second yeah. grade. <laughs> yeah, I, I was know, like dude. Eight, Jesus. Seven, How do you yeah. deal with this? I, I don't know. I just <laughs> lots of drugs. Uh, after hard the show, drugs. we'll get together. So, so hard, hard narcotics. We would discuss like the latest episode of Sailor Moon, and we would trade. The big thing back then was uh, Sailor Moon, Sailor Moon cards. cards. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, I have a story, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Have a story. So, uh, we had uh, bookmarks. I remember my trip to the Philippines. The wet boys I are losing it right now. <laughs> <laughs> I went crazy for like, Sailor Moon it. cards. Um, I had I had the VHS, the videotapes. I had a backpack, dude. Yeah, and I had the VHS tapes. Yeah, the VHS tapes. Yeah, and um, one day I remember there was this girl. I came to school. She, this girl who's really rich. Her parents were dentists, and she was really pretty, <laughs> and she was really popular. Oh me. <laughs> <laughs> She's a few years older than me, and she was sitting with her friends on the playground. And she's uh, for some reason I never know to this day why she was super nice to me, right. and mm. her name was Pity? Jenna Bangloy. Oh, and I was like, <laughs> I so I was like, no, her name was Jenna. Jenna. And Jenna, Bangloy. she Hello looked at me and she's like, "Oh, Caitlin, hey, Caitlin, come here." Come here. And I was like, oh, is she talking to me? And I came up to her and she had this big binder, right? Uh -huh. And she's like, so oh, I heard damn. that you have a crush on Tuxedo Mask. Is that true? And I was like, yeah, I like him. And all her friends were like, <laughs> 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 so they all started giggling, like, oh, she has oh a crush God, on Tuxedo Mask. And laugh, then she man. said, oh, you're so funny, yeah. Caitlin. It's creepy. And then she opened up the Holy Grail. <gasps> her, it was like, her binder was filled with like hundreds of Sailor Moon cards. Whoa. And she said, Super nerd. Caitlin, you can have anyone you want. Anyone. And it was like, oh. <laughs> I was like, really, Jenna? I thought she was going to bully you. This turned no, out to be a great no. story. She was like, you can choose any well, card that you want. Yet, and you right? can have Aww. it. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> are you <laughs> serious? <laughs> she was like, yeah, take one. <laughs> oh my God. She, she, I don't know why she was so nice to me. That's and so I was nice. like, you was mean like a, it? She's like, yeah, I mean it. Take one. That's, that's like how so, I met yeah. Sal. <laughs> But it was magic cards. Dude, okay, I have a, nice. the opposite of that story. Once you finish oh, yours. Okay, so I chose one card. It was uh -huh. a card of Serena crying because <gasps> Tuxedo Mask had like left her or something. It was like oh really God. poetic oh, and I loved it. That is emo as fuck. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was an emo child, yeah. Oh, yeah. So I kept that card. Like It was like sacred. I didn't want to bend any of the edges. Yeah. I would keep like hold it like, very protectively against my heart. Right. And one day I was at church playing with it. I was like, look at my card. And then my dad got upset. He's like, you're supposed to be in line for food. Give me that. So he mm. took my card. Oh, and no. he's like, I'm not giving you back. I'm not giving it back to you till later. And then at the end of the day, I was like, Hey, Dad, where's my card? And he's like, Oh yeah. It. And it was folded in half, oh, like, no. it, like oh. fucked up. Cut the huge, thick, fucking crease. <laughs> Jesus. He's like, Oh yeah, here. And then I started weeping. Oh, no. And then I went no. to the bathroom, I tore it up, and I threw it away in the trash. Wow. wow. Yeah. It's been sullied. It's been you sullied. <laughs> like, it's worthless now. Yeah. Did you break up with sullied. Tuxedo Mask? No, my dad, took, no, he I fell back. He, no. bought me, he bought me a VHS, uh, a Sailor Moon VHS to make nice. it. Nice. Yeah. Waterworks. Anyways. 
I was what obsessed. The fuck, Dad. Yeah. Dad, seriously. Like, <laughs> shit cost? He folds that he, shit. He th- oh, he, he ruined oh, it. He are really you died. sure you don't want me to put that part back Dude. in <laughs> okay. on my show? No, so, stop. One, of the, <laughs> one of the first like ethics questions I had as a kid involved a Sailor Moon card as well. What? <laughs> ethics so question? So there's, um, ethics. there's actually a classmate of mine who I, uh, was a playmate of mine, you know, her family wasn't like too well to do. So, you know what I mean? But, I mean, like that hardly matters. But the point being that she like obtained a Sailor Moon card. It was like one of three that she had, yeah, like and I had Millennium zero cards. because my yeah. parents did not buy me any consoles, yeah. <laughs> did not get me anything. Would hide my Game Boy to prevent me Aww. from playing it. <laughs> and so, like, I felt desperate, and I saw it lying there, you and I stole, stole it. it. Oh damn! I her card. You it. stole her card. I did, and then I went back home, and I was feeling bad the whole time. How old were you? I was like. I don't know, like eight or something. Wait, what, what was so on the was card? Like was it like a really special card? It was like shiny. Card? It was like, <laughs> yeah, yeah they're really shiny, like glossy, we right? Yeah. yeah. But <laughs> anyway, God. so then like I took it and I was in the car and I could like barely leave the car when I like got home. And my oh. my mom was going like, what's wrong? And I was like, I don't know. And then <laughs> she goes like, what do you have there? And I was like, <gasps> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Did she whoop your ass or and what? Then, and then she was like, where'd you get that? And I was like, I don't know. I stole it. Did you did you take that from did someone give it to you? Did you take that from somewhere? I'm like, it's from Grace. Oh, you start crying. Started crying. And she's like, what do you mean? It's from Grace. What are you crying about? And I was like, I took it. <laughs> Wait, wasn't that the girl who bullied you? No, no. Oh, that's okay. Different girl. Okay. Different girl. Oh, okay. But Grace was nice. Anyway, Grace was nice to you. So oh, you're bad, Jen. Oh. She was nice to you. All right. That's what I mean. Yeah, yeah so okay. I felt really bad. So then my mom was like, no, you have to give it back <laughs> and you have to apologize to her. Oh, and then she like, good. Yeah. went up to like her parents or whatever and then I had to apologize oh, to her. That's so embarrassing. And then I had to like give her back the card. What and did everything. Grace say? Oh, she was just fine. She was like, oh, okay. <laughs> like, okay. She didn't know it was gone. Uh, right. I would be mortified. Yeah. Like, so ashamed. But humiliated. I just wanted it so bad. I know what you mean. I, when you're a kid, oh. sometimes you're just like, you don't know. You yeah. just want it so bad. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway. That's hilarious. Sailor Moon. And so the, good the, times. The, the, the thing that'll make children. The currency, girls, man. Yeah, the currency of, of the youth. times. Isn't it? It's so interesting. Because, like, <laughs> when you're kids, right? And you, and you just... I think my my geeky story is very similar where you do whatever you can as a kid to own part of it or, right. or yeah, whatever. Just be part yeah. of it, and yeah. Like like mine was there was this guy that knew I was into comic books and we rode the bus together and he would basically I don't even know where he got them. He would get it from like a comic book store. He'd get he'd bring these comics and be like, "Hey, you want to buy any of these?" And I was like, "Sure, I'll buy them." But like, I can't. So I was like, almost like layaway. Right. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what do you mean layaway? I like would like I would little, pay him like five yeah. bucks here. I was five gonna bucks say there. that's before their time again. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. 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 So so you'd pay like an increment. Yeah, yeah. I would pay yeah. an increment. Gotcha. So and then so oh, it, wow. Okay. And so my my it, it was so funny because like um, I would basically take my lunch money. Right. And, oh. and pay for these or or my nutrition money. Yeah. <laughs> nutrition. <laughs> nutrition money. Oh, yeah. Money for nutrition. And, and I would I would pay him and but I would literally not eat. And what? then there was one day I remember it was one day where because I didn't eat, I was basically like I got really, really nauseous Ooh. and had these huge migraines. No. So on the name of comics. I'm in yes. class and I'm like, yeah, I gotta throw up. Oh, and no. then like, I just, I got so bad. I I had to like stick my head out the window no. and I threw oh, that up. Sucks, dude. And then my, my teacher was like, what, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> and I'm like, uh, I just threw up. But I threw up because I was save, saving my lunch money to buy those comics, so you like had it. You've been skipping lunch. Or yeah, something they would totally like that. skip lunch, and it was wow. and it went on for like weeks because he would Jeez, always. What comic book he was, was this? literally like he was literally like my dealer. Yeah, <laughs> he would come right. like every week <laughs> with like a new wow. stack. You Long Beach of people. Comic. I feel bad now because I was I was like spoiled as a kid. Yeah, yeah. You, you just got I, the my dad. Ball, right? My dad taught me how you know be a trekkie, and he would he would come home with like a Sega game like every other oh, day. Oh, right. a Sega, for the Sega, Sega Master System. Yeah, we had a 
huge collection. I have to go to the games. Philippines <gasps> and scour the malls for these cards to get the. Right. I had special zero cards. cards to this day. Yeah. I have zero cards. I gave oh, them back. I would have given so you some bad cards. About it. No one gave me any cards. If we were friends, I would have given you some cards. <sighs> I would have been like, "Here, you yeah. can have some." I think okay. my parents were just glad I wasn't like killing anybody, so they bought me <laughs> stuff. Or <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Um, I don't bang. Yeah, I don't ain't bang. from nowhere. I'm from nowhere. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't bang. I smash. I know. I smash. <laughs> smash. I know. I play. I play TMNT every every day. <laughs> the arcade game. Jesus. So that thing. We're, we're pretty geeky, you guys. Also, what do you guys think? <laughs> also, what's and, up? And, and, and to that story. Uh, the guy didn't know anything about comics. What, did, what, what, what was he, <laughs> what was he so reading? You're probably so jealous of him. Yeah, he, had, he, had, he had no idea about comics. Like, what titles like, was he giving you? Yeah. He just knew uh, that uh, he I'll, could I'll tell you. So milk you for your lunch. I <laughs> literally filled up two of the, the like long... Like the long boxes? Boxes. Oh, right. Over like a one or two year uh, frame. Of what? Of right? what what's he finally found out. <laughs> he gave me, in part of my my the stash... Right. I had three copies of the original appearance of Punisher. Nice. Nice. And I was able to sell one of those for like almost 300 bucks. Nice. Nice. Hell yeah. Yeah. So like, and and it was funny because he, he, he he did find out. And, and he, he came like, back to me. Yeah. <laughs> he came back to me. And he's like, "Hey, uh, you, you know," I, and I'm like, "Yo, you sold it to me. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know, it's, all right, sales right, are right. final, man." Like, yeah. bitch, and he I came back a window for that. Yeah. Can you and buy I'm like, back no. my health, though? The health of yeah, my childhood. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh um, my god. Um, can I please relay a story of like what's like one moment that we all had when we were so entrenched in the fandom and we knew we could not turn back. You know what I mean? Right. What do you mean? Because like, I had, I, I'm going to talk about oh, Dragon okay. Age for a second. Oh, uh, okay. Oh. Okay. All okay. right. So, you know, when Dragon Age Inquisition came out right. and I got Dragon Age Inquisition, I already really loved Origins yeah. and I love the whole like Origins EA amazing. Bioware kind of, um, you know, same with Mass Effect where like you fall in love with a character and you can romance them if you like mm-hmm. fall in love with them, you know, and you but can make your character. You oh, back. I know what you're going to talk about. Right. Oh, gosh. So <laughs> I played as a female elf. Lavellan, oh, right, man. in Inquisition. I named her Nefertiti. And um, I started romancing this elf called Solus <laughs> in the Inquisition games. Now, mind you, at first I was like, mm, really? Like, he's a romanceable option? And then I, like, actually fell in love with a video game character. <laughs> I kid you not. Try to play I, about that. I Film actually really yeah. fell in love oh, with this video game character because he was like wise and he like fought for the underling and he was like determined to save the world you know what i mean he had like ideals and things like that and then he had this like really nice sexy voice it was crazy anyway you know i mean vo- i saw that first makeout scene i was a little hot dude it was hot and heavy moist. anyway but i so agree then, with her you should write a play about this. yeah wouldn't sure. that be funny sure yeah anyway so this builds up to like you know how Night in romance with solace in um inquisition or in any drag Dragon Age series, you get different like scenes that play out as a result of like your choices, and then over the course of you playing the entire game, it un- unveils itself. Right? It's kind of like a drama mini series. Like as you're playing through the story, the-, the romance also gets intercut with like different scenes that occur. So um, the very last scene where like Solus, like basically you guys are in love now, and you're like an item, and instead of telling you the truth of who he is, he like removes this. Uh, oh my god, I'm gonna don't cry. I'm gonna sound like a geek right now. It's all right, we're already balls deep. You're too too far in. Already balls deep. You're too far in. There are markings on your skin that are tattoos that are indicative of what tribe you come from. Except. Kind of like the Illidarian, wow. Right. Except the the Dalish elves. Nerd. Who you are from, they your tribe has always told you that this is to honor the old elven gods. But then Solus tells you these are actually slave markings of like from before. So he tells you the actual etymology of these things. And instead of, of your own marks or his marks, your own. Oh, marks. okay. So he's, he's saying you're a slave. He was saying like, these are actually slave markings. I can remove it if you'd like, but he does that instead of tell you the truth, which is, I mean, I don't want to ruin the game for you, but Spoilers. he's actually a huge like villain character, but he has a I mean, good you basically heart. told me as much. I know. Yeah. He has a good heart, but he has very good reasons why he even participated with you in the first place. Yeah. And instead of telling you he loves you and that he's sorry he's doing this, he's saying like, oh, uh, you have uh, slave markings and uh, I can remove them. And then he removes them and then he says like, you're really beautiful and all that. And then he says, we can't do this anymore. 
What? Are you just yeah. spoiled me the ending of nice. it? Nice. That's the ending so you got, of the romance. He's trying to stab in the back. He's trying to, yeah, he's he walks away. trying to hit and just I, walk. I don't get it. What, Morgan what, got me. Yeah, what, yeah. What, Morgan? So, okay, yeah. I'm just going to spoil it. Dark if you haven't played Dragon no, Age. No, Morgan. All right, just tell me. Uh, I'll play Age someone you haven't played yeah. before. So, basically, you find out he is the reason why, like... The, the demon who you're, you've are you been fighting this entire time yeah. got the orb of power. It okay. was his. He is an actually the elven god. He is one of the elven gods. Uh -huh, and, then and in order, like his entire purpose is to restore the world that was destroyed from before. Okay. And so he's trying to get his power back to end everybody in this world, including killing a lot of people in this world, to get everybody who was alive back then, including all the magical creatures that died out during uh -huh. the genocide, back alive again. Yeah. So he's trying so to Dragon end Age the present world to Dragon begin Age the past world. So he's like, he's trying to Because he made a Dragon mistake Age in the past metal. and he's trying to redeem himself. Gotcha. But as a result, if he succeeds, he kills everyone in this world. Including you? Basically. So he kills you. He doesn't kill you, but that's what he wants to do. That's that's where oh, what Inquisition an asshole. ends. You find out this was all his fault. Dude, he's a fuckboy. But, but what's <laughs> in, no, no, but what's interesting is that he actually does <laughs> fall in love with you. Yeah, but how can he fall in love with someone he is intending to kill? Well, we're gonna find out next time because we have Ray? to move on to news. Aww. That's Ren. really That's sad. What he Ray said. Ray and Kylo right. Ren. <laughs> We're going to oh find out next. My God. Anyway. Ooh, I shipped so, that what's up? couple though. Last, what's up, Rod? last thing. Sorry. I, I was just going to finish this up. I was so upset by this. I, I cried about it first right. and foremost. But I also blogged about it. And I posted on Reddit. Like Reddit has this like Manser page, you know, for like the different romances cool. that you can right. have. Right. Right. Hard. Solace Manser? No, no. no. Really. no. I supportive. posted a rant of like, <laughs> fuck this guy. He should have told me this. He should have told me this as if it were my ex. And people who romance Solace would go like, you tell him, girl. You do this. <laughs> and it was like a whole wall of people <laughs> who went through the after. same relationship <laughs> yeah. that I did. We all shared were saying Solace. the same thing. And that's how I knew I was like, oh my god, I am I'm never seeing the light of day if I've, I tell people. I'll that tell you I after the show. I've also been there. <laughs> I went through this. Where you're like really like I'm too far in, man. I'm too far I'm in. Too far I'm too in. deep. Yeah, now. too deep. I, I fell in love with there. an elven yeah. god. Right. <laughs> you said you fell for Morrigan or something? Did she uh, break oh, your heart or what? Yeah. I, I dressed up as Morrigan. That was my one yeah, of my first well, cosplays. I, my, I was a female elf, um, a city elf, and ah, nice. at the end, uh, she couldn't have my baby, so oh. <laughs> <laughs> Shit got weird, and I was like, "No, right? right. Yeah. Did you you're, really feel something? I don't, though? Like, I don't. I don't. I don't. No, you're not getting with Alistair. Fuck that. No, I played as a male, and then she ditched me for the last fucking yep. battle. Fuck mm -hmm. that bitch. Look, I played. You as don't a need male. that drama yeah, in your life. Yeah, exactly. I played right. as a male just so I can keep Morgan. And at I the sacrificed end. myself, and I had my wow. funeral picture on my Facebook page for <laughs> weeks. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. See, I haven't played Dragon Age I love Inquisition. Dragon Age. But or uh, in any of the dragons. I've only ages. played Origins, and I haven't played Inquisition, but I have to. I love my Gotham. roommate would all. I would hear uh, the conversations. She would mm -hmm. play not the not Dragon Age. I guess the second one or the first one. Inquisition. The, yeah, Dragon Age two. I think it, it was we'll the one where there's like a guy with Dragon brown Age hair, two. and he's Fuck like hot. an English accent. S skip two, it's crap. Oh, <laughs> okay, maybe it was the first one. Oh, no, th that's just what. Uh, but the he chat sounded says. really sexy. I was imagining like a Tom <laughs> Hiddleston character. Alistair. I think it was Alistair, yeah. yeah was and Alistair. I was like, dude, I gotta play this game. This, sound, this sounds really interesting. <laughs> a lot of people yeah. fall in love with Alistair. I yeah. hated yeah. Alistair. Because because oh, I know, I hated him. Yeah. Because Morgan yep. hated him. Yeah. Um, we all love so, Morgan. Morgan, uh, anyways. Yes, anyways. <laughs> so anyways. So, yes, sorry, yes. sorry for it, Yeah. Okay. Um, I have one question I wanted to ask all of you guys before we move on. Sure. Geek Dumb is now mainstream. Now, you guys talked about all your sort of niche and, you know, embarrassing geek stories. But, like, now it's, shame. like, Not it's anymore. totally fine to be a geek. Like, how do you feel about that? About, about being Just a geek? the popularity Out? of, you know. Oh, I, I can talk about this. I, I, I honestly don't even care anymore because, like, I mean. It shows. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I don't care. Pants down. Pants down. <laughs> no, but I mean, like, I don't care because, like, it doesn't. I I'm glad for all the stuff that we have now, 
And that's yeah. it's beautiful for me. The mm-hmm. the the fact that we even have options cuz back in the day, I mean, even you know, if we're going back to like um, early 90s and talking about Sailor Moon cards, those cards were all you had back in the yeah. day. Yeah. And all you had was like VHS tapes. There's now no and now you have no YouTube. Yeah. You hentai if you want. There are body Pico pillows. No. I mean, there's like no. you can if you have fandom, there's something that you can uh, <laughs> grab physically <laughs> to, like, this? to um, you know, to um, show w- what your fandom is, and there's there's almost endless supplies yeah. of, of Tumblr, uh, yeah. all kind, Crunchyroll, yeah. If fandom is, Pinterest. I mean, that's the, the greatest thing. <laughs> I, I hate and Pinterest. I mean, I know there are people that are gatekeepers about this kind of stuff, and they in say what, like, in what way? Like, like, oh, you you've only you know, um, oh, you just climbed not, on board. Yeah, exactly. Legitimate. You just climbed on you board. Really yeah, we be, call those yeah. like the douchebags. The right, nerd. exactly. <laughs> Geek, <laughs> geekdom. <laughs> but but that's why I say I don't care. I think like I'm I'm happy that all this stuff is available, and it doesn't uh, bother me that everybody else is into it too. Hmm. Um, of course, I'm going to have problems with the people who made fun of me for ha- for liking that stuff back <laughs> in the day. But like uh, in general. Fuck, um, we have more things that we can talk about, so it's great, you know. Yeah, definitely. I remember for me when um, anime was like kind of a curse word. Like, right. I. Oh yeah. Yeah, like I, I don't know why. Even to this day, I kind of like flinch when people say it. Anime. Ah! Well, you See, know like, what? <laughs> but you're okay with wet hentai. Boys. Yeah. 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 <laughs> wet boys. But, wet. Like, get wet. I didn't. <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah. Wet boy anime dream. <laughs> That's like the phrase that Sorry. pays. No, it's Go fine. Ahead. I got a funny we story about the about first time boys. I ever saw hentai. Anyways, I'll tell you <laughs> after the show. Listen to my show. You'll hear yeah, about Yeah, you'll hear it on the show. Yeah, the first time I ever saw hentai. But um, no, anime was always, oh, such a like, a like a weird word because I didn't want people to know right. I was a nerd. Like I was into that stuff. And... Um, it just became like this weird thing where I, I would try to downplay it. People say, oh, you watch that stuff? I'm like, oh, no, 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 not really. I, I don't know what you're talking about. No. Even like Pokemon, no. when I, I knew about Pokemon before it came out, because I would we'd subscribe to like Nintendo Power. Do you guys remember that magazine? Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, Nintendo I Power. And there was like, they were talking about like this thing. I, I, I was pronouncing it wrong. I was like, oh my God, it's Pokemon. Pokemon po- Poke <laughs> is coming next Poke summer. Pokemans. Pokemon. The Pokemon. And then they would give us like the early manga stuff to read through and get hyped. Um, Good hype. And then when I was in seventh grade, there was this girl named uh, Alyssa, and oh. she was a grade above me. And I remember walking through like the junior high patio and seeing this binder, and uh, someone had drawn like a picture of like Inuyasha yeah, and yeah. Kagome oh. in watercolor. Right. And I was like, "Who did this? Who's, <laughs> whose binder is this? Who did this?" And then I was like, "Who? Who did? Whose binder is this?" <laughs> and then I was like looking through it, it said Alyssa Smith. I'm like, "Who's Alyssa Smith?" And then I found out there was this girl who was named Alyssa Smith who was really into anime. <laughs> right. And she would like, she was Weep-tastic. so blatant about loving anime. And she would geek out about it Disgusting. and be like, weird. And I was like, kind of disgusted. How I'd dare be like, you? girl, I pull her aside, like, we can't. What is yeah, wrong with you? You can't keep it cool. Like, yeah, like, you can't just be so blatant and open about <laughs> what you love because people are going to look at us like weird. And she's like, I don't care. I love Inuyasha. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That's her voice. I don't care. No, I, 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 I was like, she's, she's giving us a bad <laughs> name. Like, I love it. I love it. Inuyasha. And then, when, uh, sorry, I'll keep this quick. When I went one day, I was in college and I was, I was in choir and, um, our choir, like we, we went to Italy for our tour and my best friend was in choir with me and there was this really handsome, handsome dude who she had a big crush on there. Tuxedo and mask. I, no, his name was Taylor. And <laughs> I sat Close next to enough. him on the bus. She didn't get to sit next to him, but she was like looking at us like kind of jealously from far away. Ooh. And I sat next to him and we started talking about anime. Oh. And he, I was like, did you ever watch Tsunami back in the day? He's like, yes, you <laughs> watched Tsunami. anime? Oh and God. I was like, yeah, did you watch Adult anime? Did you totally like, stole him? Dude, her. I fucking slid in. Oh. I, I was like, I didn't steal him, but we started talking about anime and she was like seething, watching us like they're talking about anime. <laughs> Eye daggers at you. And that's when I realized I'm like, wait a minute, it's cool to like anime. Right. Guys Boys like when you, like you talk it. about anime. It must be cool. It must be cool. Yeah, that was my oh fucked my up God. logic. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that's when I relinquished my, you know, my fear about yeah. Uh, Cyber Maki in chat says anime, anime. At least they they're using the proper term instead of Japanimation. Oh yeah, I remember back in the day. <laughs> oh, when Japanimation. people used to say Japanimation. that. Japanimation. And, uh, <laughs> uh, thankful for the to the Sci-Fi Channel for their anime marathons too. 
Yeah. Mm. Oh yeah. yeah. Adult yeah, Swim. Yeah. yeah. Hell <laughs> yeah. Adult, adult Swim. swim. Um, what were we talking about? We were talking <laughs> about like geekdom and like when how you ge- feel about it now, yeah. like right. back in the being day. So popular, when it was right? Like, yeah. I remember when Hot Topic was just for goths. Oh, oh yeah. Right. yeah, me too. Didn't you work there, man? Pepperidge Farm remembers. <laughs> Pepperidge <laughs> Farm remembers. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> what? Pepperidge Farm. <laughs> so, uh, I like remember a line from Get Out or something. <laughs> 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 like, what's Get happening? Get Out! Pepperidge Farm! <laughs> I remember Before the war. The first time <laughs> In I walked into a Hot Topic. Yeah, and <laughs> you it, felt at home. I, no, yeah. well, it was weird because um, I, I before it was all goth stuff. Yeah, and I was like, yeah. this is weird. I'm never going in here. And then that's um, when I liked it. <laughs> I, I know. I, I was. I was not. That was not cool in Long Beach. And yeah. Then, um, oh, yeah. Of course. Uh, the first of time course. I walked into a hot topic was uh, it was towards the end of college because I looked in and I was like. Is that a Legend of Zelda t-shirt? <laughs> yeah. <Ooh. laughs> so I was like, what the hell? Boner. Yeah. Listen. Hey. So it was it was it was um Fuck Navi, man. <laughs> yes. Shut up. Excuse me. Excuse me? Yeah. It, it was a shirt with the head link on it and it says um uh, So you bought it? Yeah, I bought it. <laughs> Hell yeah. Was, yeah. For all twenty six dollars of it? Yeah, I did like video game stuff. I liked yeah. stuff was there. Right, but, right, right. But, right. but, right. right. but I, I started Hot Topic when it, when I was a goth and it was what, goth. You were right. a goth, oh, Samson? Yeah, I was a I goth. Totally I was a little bit of a goth yeah. too. Did you do the whole collar thing? Uh, no, but I was part of the trench coat mafia. <gasps> oh, oh, whoa! The and Matrix liked, ones. So too liked, soon. Uh, yeah, yeah. Sorry, the Matrix <laughs> ones. Soon. The Matrix ones. I wasn't actually part of it. You no, were the trench coat mafia. But I grew up mafia. in a really. I, I grew up. I grew up in Hawaiian Gardens and Inglewood. Okay. Right, right, right. Oh, so, you don't yeah, think yeah. I? No, no. <laughs> but they don't mess with you if you, you wear a trench coat this and you have true. long hair. I this is true. Because they if won't you, mess with you. Because <laughs> like if you if if they're a grease if you look like a greaser they'll mess with you. If you look like a yeah. gangster they'll mess with you. If you look like a nerd Cholo, they'll mess with you. Yeah, nerd. But whatever. But if, if you have a trench coat, but if they think you have stuff under your trench coat, they won't mess with you. There's a weird social order. Yeah, there was. Yeah. Remember when the arm warmers were in? Oh, with yeah. The, with the thumbless, you yeah, look yeah, like yeah, a hacker. Yeah, yeah. I had like these black fishnet arm warmers oh, from yeah. uh, Hot Topic. Yeah. And okay. everyone thought I looked like a freak. I had a freak. fishnet shirt yeah. from Hot Topic. A fishnet shirt. Oh, yeah. man. Well, you were a goth. Yeah. yeah. I had a mesh yeah. shirt, but it was my my um, my football jersey, so it doesn't really count. <laughs> okay, I football think that jersey. Counts. <laughs> oh, man. Like a normie. Did you just <laughs> call yourself a jock? Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Get off your own show. Get out of here. Jeez. Yeah, where'd your you bring show. your jock crap in here? That? I know, yeah. sorry. Yeah, so uh, th- we could literally talk about this go, forever. I'm just yeah. trying. To, sorry, yeah. I have to cut this short uh, because we're going to go into our next section, which is geek news and trailer. <laughs> <laughs> you sound so excited. No, no I'm, I'm super excited about this first one: Matrix 20, 20th oh. anniversary screening. Oh. Yeah. <gasps> So uh, AMC is putting on a special screening, a special screenings of The Matrix to celebrate its 20th anniversary. Uh, I love Keanu. Is, isn't that crazy? It's been 20 years since The Ma- uh, Matrix first came out. What if I told Wait, you, you didn't say no, we're it the all right old. Old. What, what if, if I, I told you? you? <laughs> oh, Thank you. Jesus. <laughs> what if I told you? Cut. Thank it's you. been 20 years <laughs> since The Matrix came out. And then I do this. <laughs> <laughs> and then I do this. Red and then you have to wear shades and you have yeah. to see yeah. each reflected in each eyeball. Actually, right. believe it or not, that line is never uttered in the movie. What he he never you? says, what if I told you? That's right, just right. a meme. No, that's yeah. a meme. It's yeah. like, play it yeah, again, yeah, yeah. Sam. Yeah. Never play it in the yeah, yeah, yeah. Put your lips together and blow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bless you. I think that's air. Yeah. So, uh, just You're a... breathing <laughs> <laughs> What? What happened? <laughs> I was like, you think that's Sorry. air? And I sneeze. <laughs> that you're breathing. breathing. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're breathing sneeze now. I know. Um, <laughs> just a reminder for everybody in the chat, you still have time to uh, say, I know Kung Fu, and you'll be entered into our giveaway for um, tickets to that uh, one of the special screenings of The Matrix. I know Kung Fu. I know Kung Fu. Wow. Um, so next, I'm going to popcorn uh, Jen. Hi. Okay, so... Walking Dead. There's a new teaser trailer of the um, Untitled Walking Dead spinoff. AMC is going to put this out next year. The series is going to focus on the first generation 
to come of age in the apocalypse as we know it. Oh, I get it. So it's like um, growing up in the, the inception yeah. of the uh, apocalypse. Like. Okay, great. So it seems to see, uh, indicate that the story will flash forward far into the future, picking up well after the events of The Walking Dead. So uh, John Voight Roberts, director of Kong Skull Island, will direct. Right, so it's going to be far in the future, and it's going to be about growing up in the, in the zombie apocalypse. It's, yeah. a, it's a bunch of Carls, basically. Yeah. yeah. So this is not the first spinoff from no, Walking Dead? I've never seen Walking Dead. the first spinoff. Yeah. Is it not? There's a lot of Walking yeah. Dead stuff. Yeah. I didn't even know. That. Fear of the Walking Dead. I mean, if you want to count the, like, the games, too. Yeah, you can, yeah. The old Telltale stuff. Um, Dungeons and Dragons movie to be directed by Spider-Man Home. Oh, my writers. God. According to Deadline, Spider-Man Homecoming writers Jonathan Goldstein and John Francis Daly will be in charge of writing Paramount Pictures' upcoming Dungeons and Dragons movie. Uh, most recently, uh, Goldstein and Daly directed the comedy Game Night. Have you guys seen that movie? What Game, Game Night? Night? I heard it was no, good. it is so fucking good. You need it. Really? I thought what it was gonna you... be a piece of shit. Which one is that? Uh, it's the story about Game Night. Uh, the, you need to see uh, Gamers: Darkness Rising. Darkness That's a good, Rising. Darkness Rising. Rising. <laughs> that is a great D and D movie, and this I'm oh. hoping this will be. When like, was that? Oh God, a while ago, early 2000s. How do I not know? He this? knows about yeah, Dark Darkness, Darkness Rising. Rising. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh. The Darkness <laughs> Rising. Because I remember, Acting. I remember the fucking. Is that like the the fantasy kids books? Dark the Dark is Rising. Well, series? well, maybe, but it, it, it's just it's those. a group of uh, D and Ders, and it's one of those series where they do their D and D sessions, but then they have like a separate the they like um, like if it were real in their head, but like right. like a LARPing style, but Got real. Um, so, but you know, it's just it, you know, it's like um, God, what's it called? Uh, Harmon Quest, right? But not animated. They're actually acting out the parts. Interesting. This was on TV or like? I uh, know it's a movie. Uh, I think I, I think it might be on Netflix or something, but that and um, God, what's the one with Peter Dinklage? Mm. Oh yeah, yeah, Wait, yeah. yeah. Show yeah. With Peter about, uh, role models. No, 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 no. It's another. It's another. It's a, another, it's a LARPing great. one. The LARPing it's a, one. It's a LARPing. Is it one. one with Ken Jeong? The God. I know. It's exa- I know what you're talking yeah. about. Yeah. I know, but they're they're good, I, and and I hope this will be a good one. I hope this will be good. I mean, do you remember the uh, the Dungeons and Dragons mo- movies from the early 2000s? They um, had movies. And yeah, stuff? there was like two or three. Mm-hmm. One was in theaters, and then two. I of didn't them. actually watch those. No, so no, they were crap. They were wait, horrible. so the, yeah. was the premise of this that people are oh, playing? Jesus. It? No, no, no. These are movies, fantasy like movies, set in, set in the yeah, world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And okay. those were bad. But those were very. Bad. This is re- this one that I was saying, Darkness Rising, is really good because it's literally just a group of pl- people playing D and D, but they have like it's, it's you know it's kind of funny. Like the, the bard dies a thousand times. Right. You know, that kind of stuff. <laughs> so it is like all the kind of like. Um, Tabletop tropes before it was. Yes, like, exactly. Right. Yeah. Got cool. it. Cool. I'm going to check yeah. it out. I can't wait for our Darkness D&D game rising. with I know, you and yeah. I know. Let's I do this. this. Dope. I'm I want to be a half elf. Write a story. Um, way to invite me, Earl. Jeez. Mm-hmm. I, hey, Samson, do you want to be there? <laughs> 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 um, uh, do you have your. I do. I have okay. one here. Uh, Popcorn Caitlin. Okay. Um, Tyler Ninja Blevins. The biggest name in Fortnite and one of Twitch's most popular stars is leaving the platform to stream exclusively on Mixer. The news comes via a tweet. Interesting. uh, From the streaming star with him dubbing the move the next chapter. Mixer is a fledgling streaming service owned by Microsoft that launched as Beam back in 2016 and later rebranded in 2017. The Ninja, I guess that's his name, exclusivity marks a major get for the platform, which has struggled to catch up to competitors like Twitch and YouTube. Dude, that's kind of. I've smart. never even heard of Mixer. Like, I've actually. Do you guys? Yeah. I've actually. It's so maybe it's this is gonna be a big Microsoft. Thing. I mean, I, I know I hate Twitch, but Microsoft really? Mm-hmm. Come on, <laughs> dude. They probably bought them out for at least a lot of money. Like, oh. you're like we need this a guy. lot of money. Yeah. More than the yeah. more than the yeah. money that. They, I've actually yeah. streamed yeah. on Mixer a couple of times, and it was both when it was like attached to like bigger. Um, you know, bigger entities. Like, uh, gosh, it was like f- when I streamed for Microsoft, it was, of course, on this their is platform. Ninja. That's ninja, right. yeah. And then uh, like again, for like Extra Scott Life during SDCC, was on Mixer. So I mean, I'd mm-hmm. known it existed beforehand, but like, um, wow, I don't know. It's crazy. Hmm. It's another platform. Great. I'm sure. They <laughs> I'm sure they did. <laughs> He's like, I'm looking at the numbers right now. They must be really desperate. And I'm in I mean, the wrong business. But it's a smart move. You know what I mean? If you get the one, yeah, 
move the and the queen move bee the, yeah. to a new the hive. Nest, the hive the nest will, will follow. follow. Yes. <laughs> Anyways, All right, um, Caitlin, popcorn is Samson part of this? Do you want to read Samson or do you not? I have. Oh, you do have your Samson has that. notes. Okay. Awesome. Ah. Cool. Popcorn Samson. So Christopher Nolan's Christopher Nolan's Tenant teaser, um, a teaser for Christopher Nolan's newest film, Tenant, reportedly played at several Thursday night screenings of Hobbs and Shaw because he's sneaky like that. No information regarding the story has been released, but it is said to be an action thriller about spies and will star Michael Ca- Michael Caine. My- Michael Caine. Michael Caine. Michael Caine. Michael Caine. Michael Caine. Michael Caine. Clemens Posey. So Aaron like Michael Taylor Caine. Johnson and Kenneth Branagh. I don't know how to pronounce Kenneth that. Kenneth Branagh. Yeah. But Michael Caine was what got my uh, attention. I keep, I keep thinking you're saying Michael Caine. Yeah, because that's how you say his that's name. Michael, Michael Caine. Caine. That's how Michael he says Caine. his name. Really? Michael Caine. Yeah. Michael Caine. Michael Caine. In his Caine. accent. Michael his Caine. His Cockney accent. Yeah. I'm yeah. saying Michael Caine Michael sounds like Michael Caine. Yeah. What's funny is he's such a he's such a ninja. Like he's like I'm not I'm too cool to release it. Yeah, I'm and I tried to it. find it too because I was like it's got to be out some here people, somewhere. They, they like taped some secret right. footage of it. I, I actually watched it because yeah. Rodney, oh, Rodney sent a, uh, a well la di da. You know, he found one online, a version. So like oh. yeah, <laughs> it is. And there, there are several breakdowns already of people uh, like oh, YouTube. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I did watch one of the breakdowns. There's like glass and shattering sounds, and someone walking through or something. It like sounds that. cool. And, and and similar to like life is strange or something like that, Ooh, right. like a, a rewinding. Everybody's saying it's like Archetype, this short yeah. term, like kind of contained time travel. Because yeah, it was really playing the same play bit over and it's over again, but like earlier and yeah. Why has it? It's on Steam. I have it on Steam as well. I never finished the first episode. I've never played it, so I've <laughs> it's pretty Vicky, first Vicky played it. I've talked yeah, about yeah, it yeah. many times. <laughs> so. Yeah, but like in Life is Strange, you can only reverse like to the last thirty seconds or something like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so more video game news. Um, Modern Warfare. Uh, they dropped a new trailer, and nobody cared. <laughs> oh, right. sorry. Ooh. That's my show. Ooh. Damn. <laughs> Them is fighting words. Um, <laughs> but uh, it. I mean, it looks cool. I'm sure everybody who's into like Call of Duty and like those kind of Twitch FPSs are going to be totally into it. Um, uh, again, the the uh, the developers Infinity Ward. Uh, so this is going to be in that timeline. Um, and it's it looks cool from what I've now, seen. You know, I, I watched the trailer and it it looked epic. But yeah, it's COD. So, I mean, that's the thing, right? If uh, you can't say anything nice. I was just saying. I was just telling Rodney back in the day. Like, I mean, in relatively recent history, uh, they had you know the COD like bouncing between two development studios, Treyarch yeah. and Infinity Ward, right? So that means that their development cycle was super short. Mm-hmm. And I mean, there's only much so much you can do with uh, two years or whatever. But now that they have three studios working for them, we'll see how it goes. Um, and again, it's a trailer. It's going to look flashy. It's going to look good. Um, I'm waiting for um, gameplay, gameplay footage, of course. So, um, Popcorn. Uh, let's go to Caitlin. Huh, 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 let's huh, go to Jen. Huh. 16-year-old <laughs> kid. There's a 16-year-old <laughs> that won $3 million recently at the Fortnite tournament. So his name is Kyle Booga. Geesdorf. Booga. This Booga. And, Booga. Uh, Booga. 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 Yeah. Booga. And he won Booga, Booga. at the inaugural World Cup finals of Fortnite. A lot and, of fucking money. But his three million was taxed one point five million. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Hey, still more money than all of us combined. Still right. more than yes. all of us combined. And honestly, it takes so <laughs> Over much the last skill. Ten years. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. It does. Please pay off my student loans, <laughs> Kyle. I know. Bugga. His name is Bugga. Bugga. Play off my. Pay off my student loans. He's only yeah. sixteen. A hundred k. Please help yeah. me. Please. Yeah. Jeebus. That's like a like a, a pocket a tenth, change for Bugga. It's a tenth Booga. of his uh, fortune now. Yeah. Um. So. Trifle. We have come to the part of the show where we play a game. Boo. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> what did I walk into? So uh, we're going to change it up a little. Uh, I usually do like some kind of trivia, but we're going to. St- so I'm actually, I should have asked earlier. Um, everybody in the chat. So for this yep. game, I'm going to ask you to give me um, an iconic figure from. Um, from all of, like, from your favorite fandom. Just everybody kind of mm-hmm. give us an iconic figure. Like now, Gandalf or some And shit? go. Oh, no, you're going to make us do the impressions. No, 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 oh, okay. I'm not. I'm not <laughs> that mean. <laughs> no. You want to do okay. all the impressions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, list a couple if they don't know any. Like, wow. What? What is it? 
What did we get? Doctor Strange? Okay, let's do that one. That's What happened? What happened? Uh, no, th I, you guys can't know this. Oh, we can't oh. know it. So, oh, okay. Oh, okay. So right. I'm getting a few. Oh, God. Uh, I, I love yours, Cybermaki. Uh, I don't think we're going to be able to... Okay, that's a good one. Um, <laughs> oh, my God. I wonder what's, what's, what's happening. On. So, uh, so what... All right, I'm going to say who wants to guess? Uh, I'll guess. You want to guess? Sure. Okay, so this game is called... It's a game that we pl I play with my improv troupe. Uh, this is called um, uh, Press Conference. Oh, nice. Okay. So uh, what's going to happen is Jen is going to have to guess. She's uh, she's going to be a dignitary. Uh, she's going to be a, uh, one of these people that I'm going to pick from this list. She's not going to know um, who it is. Okay. And then uh, the rest of us, me, Caitlin, and Samson, have to ask her questions that lead her to finding out who this person is. So I have to just uh, pretend to be the person until I find yeah, out who gonna, I am. Yeah, exactly. We're going to ask okay. you questions. Nice. And they're going to start off, like, you know, relatively... Oh, um, this is like the game from Inglorious Bastards, where you have the name on like, your forehead. Who am I? Yeah, but who I am I? I get to ask the questions? No, we, we'll ask we questions from ask you. Yeah, questions we ask... Oh, so it's reverse. It's a Instead reverse, of her asking, yeah. we ask the questions. We ask her oh. questions. We know. Okay. We know. So, okay. so we I'm going to I'm gonna whisper it into... May I whisper it here? Right into y'all's ears. Oh my God! And uh, for y'all in the chat, I'm gonna say which one I'm going to do. Oh my God! Um, I'm gonna do Aaron Nabus's because oh. I think I think this is uh, probably we the, got nabbed the by best Nabus. chance that we have here. So <laughs> I'm gonna we're gonna do that. Uh, I'm gonna whisper into Caitlin and uh, Samson's ears. Oh my God! So this feels like grade this, school all over again. People are whispering wanna, in people's ears at my expense. Whispering in my ear. I mean, thanks, childhood. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Whatever. Okay. It's so loud, okay. girl. I'm closing my ears. She had an ear story. Okay. Okay. okay, no more speaking about so, uh, it. I don't know about it. Uh, so, um, hello, everybody. Welcome to uh, our press junket. We have an esteemed dignitary with us here today. Could you please introduce yourself? Hello, my name is Marco Mar Mar. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, excuse me. Um, yes. Uh, uh, Diego uh, Mancini from the um, uh, from the Digital Tribune. Uh, yes. I was wondering what 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 you had for breakfast this morning. Uh, this morning I had uh, an omelette uh, with cheese and there's some French fries. So just as a reminder, you are an iconic figure from geek culture. I <laughs> am. So yeah. are our questions supposed to help her? Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. yeah. Well, they can. They're starting off kind of got vague it, right it. now, but you can also. You can start doing How this in Blizzard. Can we get as specific as possible? Or? I would like uh, say no uh, name, right? You can't say yeah, no names. names, but like I would. But we like can say names in the franchise, right? Kind of like like puns. Like you don't want to like hit it hard from uh, the beginning. Like we have to pretend mm. that we're in a press. Conference. Really, yeah, exactly. The training wheels are on yes. in this press yes. conference. So um, I'm so sorry, um, madam. Your name again? Mar Mar Mara. Mar Mar Mara. Margo Mar Mara. Oh, <laughs> That show, Mari Mar. Anyways, Mari Mar. Anyways, Phil um, uh, yeah. Mar Mar Mar. Um, so originally you're from outer space, wouldn't you say? Yes. So yes, essentially so I am. Not humans. That's I'm for not sure. Human, no. Gotcha. All right. Just uh, very powerful. Yes. Very. Um, how shall I say? I um, I may look different from other people. Yes, very much so. Yes. Very mm. much so. Uh, so I was wondering, um, uh, <laughs> uh, me again, um, I was yeah. wondering, uh, y you do have an Amazon um, an Amazon uh, membership, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so One might call me a woman who is wonderful on Amazon. Right. Um, so do you have the regular or do you have Prime? Oh, um, my God. Ooh. Oh. Ooh, I would say I have Prime. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Oh, uh, this is Billy Bob from the Truckers Association of yeah, America, it's Billy Bob. Right. and yeah, I, yeah. I, I want to know if you realize how offensive your form is to us. My my form. Yes. My form. You're, you're, he's referring to your trans find it I offensive. Might, <laughs> your truckers, I might yes. transform <laughs> my form to something primal. <laughs> 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 oh, I, 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 
<laughs> and I was speaking with that. his accent. Now, now I was wondering if uh, no, was there's more no, rednecks in the no, audience. Right. Um, oh, God. You sure got a pretty spark, boy. Oh, I so do you. Uh, all my spark all was pretty. My spark all my spark was pretty. All my spark was pretty. One, one might say I was Optimus Prime at one point. Ding, 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 Yay. Of course you chose Optimus Prime. Well, the I was trying to say transformative p- abilities, but I, I was like, is that too much? That's okay, I want way, that that's yeah. already on the head. Well, I, well, I feel right. like that's, yeah. yeah. So, um, I mean, we the other <laughs> options were Dristo Erden. Which you what? might know. I, Wait, we're not doing more. Yeah. That was it. Is that wild? We can go. We can do. We can do more. I can. Let's we can do, do one more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can't do that. Yeah, that was fast. Do you want to? Do you wanna, who wants to guess? Uh, oh, I do. Um, yeah. You want to guess? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, Samson, why don't you do? You're the guest. Let Let Samson guess. How's that? Oh, geez. unless we can do more. <laughs> okay. We're gonna do like one or two uh, we more. Have time for. Yeah. Okay. Everybody should have okay. a chance. Let's get. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna do this next. So oh. democratic. I know. Should we do who? For? And who? then uh, let's uh, let Samson let's have one more. Let's f- pick one more uh, from the, you named uh, all the audience. Other ones. <laughs> oh, okay. I didn't. I didn't hear the other ones. Okay. But oh. So. I get the whisper this time. Okay. So. He is, is, oh, Samson, you're guessing. I guess so. Yeah. Okay. He's guessing. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> so we're at a, a press conference still? Yes. Okay. So, uh... <laughs> so do we, nice. Can we all, like, put on, you know, like, You can characters? put on... Yeah, you can okay. put on characters. Uh, how's it going, everyone? We have a, uh, a famous dignitary with us here today. Uh, sir, please introduce yourself. Thank you. Uh, I am uh, President Obama. <laughs> <laughs> no, just kidding. Oh. Sorry. Oh. Thank, thanks, Obama. <laughs> no. Uh... I'm here today to answer your questions. Apparently, I'm also from the Truckers Association. So, <laughs> actually, it's the, it's the farm, it's the farming association. The farm I'm, is, I'm is, really good at redneck <laughs> uh, voices, so we're just gonna go with I, that. Mr. Trucker Obama, <laughs> um, as we all know, you've you've done some Truck Obama, Mr. Trucker Ob- Obama, uh, or so you say. Um, You've done some reprehensible things. Do you not feel any remorse? I have no shame. So Cl- uh, Clearly, I, I would like to point out the fact that, um, as you said that just now, you weren't blinking. Your eyes weren't blinking, were they? No, 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 I didn't know they weren't. Um, uh, so, uh, uh, Jameson uh, Talbot from uh, the, the New York Tribune. Apparently, I still have this accent. Yes. Uh, I was wondering. Um, I, I play a lot of Dungeons and Dragons now. Uh, now, that there's Satan's game. Oh, it we definitely don't touch is. that. Hail Baphomet <laughs> down south. Um, I was wondering if, uh, you know, there Leave are... Leave room for Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Good Sarah, for take Jesus. the wheel. There are good dragons the and there are evil dragons. Now, which one of the... Uh, Evil Dragons is your favorite. Is it the white? You sound like Daniel Plainview from <laughs> There Will Be Blood. <laughs> is it the black? Or is I hate it most the people. red? <laughs> is it the red dragon? I drink your milkshake. It sounds to me like it's the red dragon. <laughs> <laughs> hey! <laughs> oh. Anyway. Uh, Mr. Trucker President. Um <laughs> President Trucker. Barack Obama. You, have, Tr- you felt, Obama. have you felt any uh, any at all um, empathy with zombies as of late? In any way? <laughs> would you, well, would now you say we that don't, you I don't need brains, I don't think. Life? Oh, you don't. That's interesting. You <laughs> so <laughs> no brains, well, you, you say. You certainly, Mr. Truck Obama... May I say? Very serious. You would skip that part. I'm I'm quite certain you eat fava beans, don't you? Perhaps with a bottle of Chianti. Yes, mm. yes, yes. Um, I guess you found me out. I'm actually trucker Hannibal. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> awesome. All right. Cool. 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 Uh, one more. One more. Uh, let's see. Let's let's pick again from here. Um. Caitlin Jeez. wanted to guess. I'm scared though. I might not know it. That for sure. I was gonna get that one. Uh, I, I got totally got the red dragon thing now. Like afterwards. Really? Oh, okay. Did I No idea. Yeah. <laughs> I, I I'm gonna say okay. Let's do this one because I think this is this is probably. I'm just trying to pick things that we're, you know, 
no, probably going to get. Yeah, we all know. Okay. So, this so is you thought it was a cannibal? Scared. Yes. Okay. So Figures. the next one is going to be this. <clears throat> I think that's the one that you mean, but like we're going to do that. So who's, okay. who's guessing? It's Caitlin. All right. So cover your ears. La, la. I wanna be, baby, baby. <laughs> okay. To chain him is my cause. Pokemon, gotta catch him. All right. I know it's my destiny. Thank you, everybody, for being here. We have a very esteemed guest with us here today, and uh, they'll be answering answering a panel of questions from uh, our esteemed uh, uh, array of reporters. Vam, would you please introduce yourself? Yes, I uh, typically go by uh, the initials I C Panties. I see icy panties. panties, yes, yeah. yes, yes. Very icy indeed. Yes, I've seen them. I mean, like, oh. I've I've seen <laughs> panties before. I've we seen all, panties. We all like to know that he likes to acknowledge that he's seen panties. Yes. Indeed, yes. Um, um, does anybody have any questions, our, our press corps? <laughs> <laughs> Miss Icy, yes. may I ask? Yes. Uh... You may go by the name of Icy, but you are quite fiery, are you not? Flamboyant. And Fire. quite whippish, <laughs> I must say. Quite fiery and How whippish. do you live with yourself? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm just well, I blink. suppose, um, you know, I, uh, I've never been like other people. I've always no. kind of been my own sort of person. <laughs> Uh, uh, Ma'am, I was I was wondering, uh, 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 Jameson Talbert again, but uh, <laughs> I'm here with um, the, the 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 London Gazette this time back home. Uh, I was wondering if uh, what is your favorite sci-fi series? Is it uh, is, is 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 it The Expanse or uh, Ooh Dune? Ooh Dune. <laughs> Ooh. Well, obviously it's <laughs> apparently it's Dune. Ooh Dune. Yeah, yeah. Ooh Dune. Ooh, Dune. Uh, Billy Bob here again from the <laughs> Truckers Association. Yes. Now, would would you say the last time you was blocking the road that we could not pass? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you fools! Well, as a Balrog, <laughs> I suppose yeah. it was back in two thousand one. <laughs> Cool. Awesome. Oh, God. Awesome. Oh, man. So uh, that was, that was our... <laughs> see, I, I got... See, when you said a whip and fiery, I was like, it's either that, like, Balrog thing, or uh, Hellboy. <laughs> I don't fucking know. Hellboy. I was going to start yeah. saying something about you being anyway. horny. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. I'm oh, so no, no. Then I'll be like, <laughs> oh, I think it's Hellboy. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. Okay, great. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> awesome. Good job, everyone. Yeah. That was fun. We, yeah. All, I know a new party fun. game. That's yeah. fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's great, yeah. Um, so uh, that is our show for tonight. Uh, thank you, everybody. Thank you to the cast and the crew. Thank you to our special guests. Thank you for having me on. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Awesome. Great to have you, Sam. It, it was good to have you at the table. Uh, I forgot to hit up our sponsor for today, PWC, uh, Filipino Worker Center. Thank you for uh, having us in your space again. Uh, hit us up next week, next Tuesday, same time, 8 p.m. Um, at twitch.tv slash pangeekery. Hit us up on all the socials um, on... Uh, Pan Geekery on Instagram and Twitter and and Twitch are all there. It's the same thing everywhere. Um, and uh, that's it. Remember, everybody, um, I think we still have time. You probably have like five seconds to put your entries in for uh, the it. Matrix thing. Uh, I know Kung Fu. I'm going to count down to five. Five, five four, I know Kung three, Fu. I know Kung Fu. two, I know Kung Fu. one. I know Kung Fu. <laughs> All right, that's it. That's ah, it. there goes. Mm. All right, everybody, have a good night. See you next week. Woo. Good night, you motherfucking nerds. And Geekery Podcast, covering all things geek from an all-diverse perspective. Visit us online at www.geekery.com.